mate, I'm shitting it. I shouldn't swear that close to the start because it will probably get demonetized and this mm. could be the one that really blows up because, you know. I'm a, very scared for our guest. A-list celebrity guest waiting in, in the oh shadows. No. Um, welcome back, Merch Podcast. Hello. Oh, we should do the, the music. No, should we do the intro once we announce the guest? Yeah, definitely. They deserve to know who I'm it is. I'm genuinely a little bit flustered. Oh, yeah, we're drinking, aren't we? It's All right, so here's the deal. Merch Podcast, thank you all so much because we're at episode 100. It's been a rocky, like, you know, up and down kind of a couple of years. I don't know when this thing started. Yeah, it started out in your small spare room. Yeah. And then we were, I need to open my, my White Claw, which is, uh, please sponsor us. Although I'm not really drinking that much at the moment, but we can still take that. Mm -hmm. um, and it's not a girly drink. It's a low calorie, very hydrating, good drink. Uh, yeah, started off in the office and mm -hmm. then we moved to the other workshop and now we're here, you know, look at this backdrop. Um, I don't know how we've pulled this off, to be honest. We've, we've been hyping this up for a little while, our special guest. I, I was talking to people on Instagram earlier and we've got a lot of comments. People think it's David Bell. People think it's Ryan Gosling, Might Ryan well Reynolds, etc. cetera. Um, should, we, should we bring them in and then do the music? Yeah, you know what, Bloggy? You, you're on us right now, right? Yeah. Let's bring them in and then we'll cut to the, the white screen and we'll do the music and then we'll get them seated because they've got to squeeze past me. Oh, okay. So up white screen. So but they don't see him coming. No, 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 no. They can bring him in. But yeah. All right. Does our special guest want to walk in? Hey. You can't see. You, you got to go there. You got to go there. And maybe even duck down. No, you can, they can't see. They can't see you. <laughs> go in come there. Come in. Come in. Bloody hell. This is how it's going to go. Hey. <laughs> it's Keelan's mum. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Let's go. All right. You sit down. This is, this is gonna be great. So Claire, when did Keelan start wet, stop wetting the bed? And why, why was it age 20? Oh, the troubles we went through. <laughs> so this is, this is so scary. <laughs> why? <laughs> I don't know. It wasn't scary until last night and now it's real. You, the, yeah, it's sunk in. Mm. I just want to preface this by saying, it kind of sounds like I'm taking the piss out of the fact that we've got Keelan's mum here. I actually think <laughs> we're gonna have a really good conversation. But mm. we threw a few ideas about for episode 100 and a lot of people were like, oh, you should just get drunk or like get this celebrity on or blah, blah, blah. And then you, <laughs> Keelan was home with his mum and she said that she really wanted to come on and it was like, well, fuck it, why not? Like, I think there's some very good things to talk about. Are you having a drink? Oh, I'm so having a drink. <laughs> good, good. Um, if you can hear sort of booming vibrations, it's because Marks is next door watching Soul. So. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. 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 Um, but yeah, Claire Ryan, how are you doing? I'm really good, thanks. Good. Yeah, great. Um, this is good. This I should spend every Friday like this. Yeah, Good Friday, drinking, yeah. yeah. Drinking out of a... Ooh, oh, spilling sorry. it. You've been drinking before you drove here. No, no, mm. no, I do not. And this is very light alcohol, so yeah, I'm quite fine. safe with you it. You say that, it does, it does me a... Does it? Does me a, a number. Oh. It's only one. So I'm a bit not used to the microphone. Am I in the right place? You're absolutely mm. fine. You're actually doing a lot better than some guests who immediately go like that and <laughs> just mm -hmm. recede back from the microphone. So uh, I appreciate, by the way, this is how you style a Soul Destroyer t-shirt. Oh, if yes. If you would like. I very much like this. Well, all of my clothes have gone to you, haven't they? Really? They have. In fact, um, I'm doing a, a play in a couple of weeks and every rehearsal I've worn Motus. It to the degree that people are going, what is it? What what? And <laughs> that's I'm what like, we want. Yeah, it's that guerrilla marketing. This, are we going to get people buying it who are like? Mm, I'm not sure about buying it, but they've just been asking about it. The other motors mummies. Yeah. 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 Well, obviously. Yeah. yeah. But um, no, I get all of Keelan's cast offs and some of them have why are you giving away a soul destroyer t-shirt that's like <laughs> does not fit me oh it doesn't fit you mm. all right okay fair it enough. doesn't really to be oh, fair fit me either but that, I'm, yeah. i just like that might be one of the samples <sighs> when we got rid of all the that's dick. money that is yeah. that's a rarity that's rare it is yeah I mean, so even more rare now i'm wearing it exactly. I've, I've added value to your merch you have indeed by the way anyone who's listening to this should probably go and watch it because i mean we're not doing anything <laughs> specially visual but i feel mm -hmm. like it's going to be one of those yeah um 
this is this is this is, I don't know how to get into it, but we basically we've got we've got some things to talk we about. We've got some things to talk about. Yeah, I can't wait. Mm. I think like I, I sat in bed this morning and read a couple of articles about like parents of extreme sports athletes mm-hmm. as a kind of like what can we kind of dive into? Because we could just, you know, do all the funny questions about Keelan and like, oh, what was he like as a kid and things. <laughs> but I think genuinely there are some interesting things to have you just gone through one or no that no, was no, your no, old no, one no, no i opened this a while ago that was your Not pre-drink yeah, yeah, that yeah. was your pre-drink okay i was gonna say yeah. um oh by the way shout out to tom and renee from origins parkour who recently did an episode of their podcast incredibly drunk and it was very entertaining oh why aren't we doing that because, because you're, you're driving, driving. Oh, yeah. i was <laughs> <laughs> For the last week, I was like, Claire needs to get the train. We'll pay. We will pay for her to get the train. But you drove for here. Episode two hundred. Yeah, yeah, I mean, to be honest, I don't think your um, podcast viewers are ready for me drunk. No, I, I actually would not want that. Really? Yeah, yeah. Not yeah. recommend it to anyone. No, I'm no. not recommending drinking or being I've been drunk. To a, I've been to a few gigs with you, but I've never seen you like. You know, no, I've had to rescue you on multiple occasions. Slaughtered. Yeah. There's, there's the story of the bucket of vomit. Yeah, in the car when I picked you up, and yeah, then you we, got we out of the car and fell down the, yeah. the steps by our house. <laughs> <laughs> there was, I, you know that I, drop just before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, Didn't I you say people from your job are going to watch this? E, pro- probably. Because we don't, we don't, we don't edit this podcast. It's so. fine. It's fine. It's I mean, fine. the We're thing is, human. how you're an adult. Yeah, it's fine. How I have actually brought into the world someone that does parkour when I am notoriously clumsy, even without alcohol. I a couple of weeks ago, I fell down some steps at a party where I wasn't drinking. Nice only person that actually managed to fall over while sober yeah, yeah. everyone else drunk not and you're, falling you're, over. Currently, you're, currently, you're currently nursing a broken rib well it's we with mm, jury's out on that one but it's probably it's it's sorely it's mm. a sorely poorly as i yeah it. yeah a sorely poorly but then but then i even run over to you like i oh, hurt myself sorely poorly. <laughs> oh you've got a sorely poorly <laughs> but i'm pretty clumsy when i'm not training yeah actually to be fair you're knocking a- knocking stuff over food over and like <sighs> rolling my ankle when i'm walking mm. Yeah, I'd, so I'd describe you as a clumsy yeah. person. So the apple hasn't fallen far. No, from the tree. no, no. He just parkour just, gives you like hyper focus, so you don't. To yeah, I bailed, I bailed a fair few. So times I need to learn parkour in order to. You you climbed uh, down a ladder earlier. Yeah, I'm actually killing it. I, I, I've <laughs> just done a bit of hardcore training out there, which mm. they they may show you later, but I don't. In Doc Martens as well. Yeah, so. mm-hmm. and I mean you know I. Keelan got it from somewhere, let's face it. Yeah. I think it was dad, to be honest. Oh, that's so rude. <laughs> what, he, used to do, he used to do stream jumping and stuff like that. So. What stream jumping? In like Tunbridge and Tunbridge Wells, which is like local towns kind of near-ish here. Um, you know, there's like loads of rivers and streams and stuff. Yeah. Him and his friends would like go and find like the biggest gaps between the okay, streams. Okay, I was going to say, well... And, and, that, and then they just run and jump them. And he showed me some of them and they're pretty horrible. I would, okay... When you say stream, I think of something about the width of this table. Oh, yeah, stream. Same, uh, it's same. like river jumping. River jumping, yeah, yeah that sounds yeah. a bit more extreme. Because river could be, you know, pretty a fucking big, wide. Yeah. Like, there's the River Nile, for mm. example. And, like, yeah. everyone would have their group and have their, like, one person who's really good. I don't. What, was that my, your dad? I don't know if it was my dad. <laughs> oh, okay. Might not have been. Well, I used to climb trees, so mm-hmm. that counts. There you go. We're climbing trees a lot now, mm-hmm. so. Yeah. 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 Um, Should we dive into yeah. parenting? Well, I mean, where, where do you want to start? Like... Well, there is there is the history of the, okay I got a couple of questions so like because I, I don't actually know about how you got into this how did Keelan get into dancing because you got into dancing at a crazy young age yeah was that you being like do something cool I, I no not at all um I just Keelan kept saying to me he wanted to learn um to dance and I he kept on and on about it I want to learn to dance I want to learn to dance and I I found a place where he could go and he was the only boy but is this Break, break, well, just break dancing well, or street, street dancing. dancing. Street Do you know yeah, why? Okay. It's because when we were on holiday. Yeah. When we were on holiday, there was those you kids who were doing kids. like cartwheels and trying to do stuff. Break was really dancing, young. yeah. And I just saw that and then I, I yeah, I guess I just asked you. Yeah. Didn't so we found somewhere and he was the only boy and yeah, that's how it started. Mm. And then he um he got entered into some competitions and he just had a natural flair for it. Yeah, and he kind of I mean went quite far right oh yeah i mean totally his dance teacher when he gave it up was so gutted i she, don't know if anyone just heard that bass 
Uh, did you guys say that? No. You know, those burps, you know that? No, you know those burps where your throat goes. Oh, it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Is it yours? It's, it sounded so loud in my like in my body. Sorry. His as dance long as teacher. it wasn't me. Yeah, no, yeah. his dance teacher was really upset when he left. But um, no, he had a real flair for it. And we ended up, He, you did loads of traveling. He did mm. a lot of traveling. Yeah international competitions world championships and so at what age was this he started when he was eight so mm. so you kind of got a taste of like it was similar to like how we travel and do like parkour events and stuff yeah but, I was with but you were, so it's <laughs> just me it was just us two like not no one yeah yeah because yeah. mm. like there's like this sort of one of the big things that i think we can talk about and explore is the the fact that i don't know let's say Keelan was a footballer mm. and it got and he got really good and sort of he needed to do a bit of traveling that's a very conventional like sporting path yeah and mm. therefore you've got like-minded parents and you've got like-minded kids and kind of there's money in it so mm. there's nice hotels and blah, blah 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 and it's like it's somewhat safe you're like oh and the, the Chelsea under 12 tryouts the next week I don't know football but like yeah. blah 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 but I guess dancing is slightly more unconventional. So that was almost like the warm up for then the very unconventional. Yeah. Yeah. Because some of the articles I was looking at earlier are just talking about how like, when it comes to these unconventional sports where you could get somebody who's like, uh, I, it was like Travis Pastrana, mm. when he was like 16 was winning the X games and things. And like mm. previously before that had already broken his back and been in a wheelchair. And it was like an interview with his mum Before being 16. Yeah. Yeah. Like had bodied himself yeah. before that point. And it's like the parents for those young kids kind of have two options. They either go fully supportive mm. and it's like, well, this is clearly your passion. We're going to go yeah. with this. Or you sort of repress that. Mm. And then which causes at that time when you've got moody teenagers causes <laughs> like it can really suffer like the relationship aspect of yeah. it. And yeah. you obviously, I mean, you're such a good example of someone who did the, the, the better. Mm. Um, but I guess the dancing was like the warm up to that. Yeah, I mean, it was full on. Um, yeah. He was rehearsing as part of a dance team as well as a solo dancer. Um, so he was rehearsal, 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 shows, um, all kinds of things. Um, and it was constant. And for a while it was, you had that dance family, which you spent all your time with. Yeah. You know, we'd be abroad. Um, you know some great trips but yeah it was there was a lot of commitment from us as parents and again there was quite a lot of cost because mm. you were traveling um but he did i mean i sometimes think with the dance kind of led to the parkour in the way way that keelan does a lot of flowy kind of yeah, movements. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay i don't know all the technology technology what's it called terminology <laughs> terminology <laughs> it's been a long day i'm sorry but um yeah but i think a lot of his flair for movement comes oh, from his background as a dancer 100 percent. and he was really successful as a dancer and he could have pursued that i mean he was asked to teach he you know he's he went on tv with it so he he but it wasn't I like really this. It feels like we're talking and he's not here. Yeah, I know. It's, yeah, quite, it's, quite, it's quite scary. <laughs> yeah, up you go. It's so yeah. scary. I don't even, because I was so young, it feels like that does, that didn't really happen. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it is so similar, like the parkour yeah. trips that we've done and things. Yeah. It's a very similar, like family kind of, like I now know people yeah. around the world. It's and a community because you have yeah. like the dance community and you have yeah. the parkour community. And you community. see the same, when we used to yeah. do like the worlds and the European yeah. qualifiers and stuff, remember we'd see the yeah. same like, yeah. Europeans and the same people and yeah. you'd like get together again so it's similar but funny enough Keelan never had that the one thing that always uh, you know about Keelan when he used to he used to win a lot and that's not me going on oh, my son's amazing but he used to win a lot and we ended up in the loft now there's about 70 trophies from <laughs> from his dance competitions and some of them are massive they're like world championships and things like that but Keelan was never comfortable with winning. Yeah. He's always like, I remember from an early age, he was like, well, I don't really think I d did enough to win it. And I'm yeah, like, you've well, never cared, have you? No, like and he's not, I don't feel like he's, I mean, I'm not competitive and I don't feel like he's got that real competitive kind of like, the, I've got to win. The worst is when, um, because for the, for the breakdance sections, because obviously these competitions were split mm. into like, there was street, so that was street dancing, and then there was 
like uh popping and things you know like body popping yeah, and, all that. Yeah, yeah. and then there was breaking and that was all in the same like big it's like for the love movement, it'll yeah. be a big thing like that and they'll do it at different times. And the breaking one, because it's like head to head, you have to be quite like aggressive in oh, a way. I love I, I love the watching battles. it, yeah. but I also, you, I love some of the videos I've seen because it's normally you and oh, you're tiny versus yeah. like- Yeah, you have know, to like really a, big, up, big yourself up. There's like, like you battle. doing all the like, to that, to oh, like an 18 year old man yeah. kind of thing. And it's like, and it's like that's the worst because then afterwards you're like, I don't know. It's yeah. not you. It's like you're you're bringing out this thing for yeah. it because it's it's a show. It's kind of a. It's like you're performing. It's yeah. like gassing up a crowd in a parkour mm. line. And yeah. Like at, you sort of start and you get them all going and yeah. then you finish and yeah. yeah. But that was always hard because then afterwards it's like, well, I'm just me now. Yeah. I'm not yeah. the guy who was doing the crazy like aggressive stuff. But, but you were never. I don't think you were ever really that into competing. No. And I think I feel like even parkour events, you're more into the love of parkour than actually. Mm. Yeah, because you've competed and you've you've done decently, yeah. but you've never like cared enough no, to he doesn't. to go hard. Like no. no, but I think it's sick when people do. Yeah, I yeah, just yeah, don't yeah. Think I enjoy it yeah. right mm. now anyway. Um, but yeah. yeah, but and there's the, the the cool thing is there was people at those competitions who were, I don't know if they do parkour, but like you, I think I'd slowly see what like I would call parkour, which was flips and things, which mm. that's what I thought it was. Mm. So that's why I think I started get doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you just wanted a move and you just didn't know. I mean, mm. it's a shame I haven't got any old videos of, of Keelan doing his moving at about four years old, which... Four? Yeah. <laughs> not, not sort of more like dancing. Mm. We've got a few old home videos. That, Amazing. Yeah. That, yeah so That'd he, be when you have the like, you know, when you're 50 and you do the yeah. like documentary of your life. Yeah. It starts Christ, off with a montage. Yeah. yeah. We do have everything, don't we? Capture yeah. Pretty much. We, we like do. Video cameras and, and you like granddad to has move. it as well. You like to move from mm. an early age. You, mm. you did like to dance and, and move about. And I think that's where the movement has developed for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's not the route I thought he'd take, mm. but it's what did, you right, think, so what did you think I was going to do? Well, this might be interesting for Charles because he's got, yeah, yeah, he's yeah. Got a so, kid so like, like when I mean, obviously, Daisy's only eight months, mm. so right now I'm like, the world's an open book. Mm. But the thing that I said, so I don't think much about it, but it's an interesting thought process is like, when oh, I don't really know even how, like, what the question is because <laughs> I, I don't know, like, when do you you don't get to decide what your kid does? No at all no but like there are things that i would love her to get into mm. and there's interests and like i mean there's a lot of like things that i would love her to have passions in like whether it be music mm. or even having a better understanding of like financial literacy than mm. i did like i want her as a young child to understand the concept of like earning and saving money yeah because those are things that i don't think my parents did a very good job of teaching me like no hate to them and but they'll, they'll kind of admit that mm. and i think they're important so there's like things like that that I want to sort of put into her surroundings so that she picks that up. Yeah. But you can't control it. So like, when did you start to be like, cool, Keelan's doing what he's doing? Like, well, we're it on the Keelan. Help that it's changed so much. It's changed so much, and but that's the thing. It will. There yeah. was one stage in my yeah. life where I fucking wanted to tap dance. My mum. <laughs> really? My mom, I didn't know that. I had tap dancing lessons. <laughs> oh, please give us a demo. I I can't remember any of it. My mum. I, I went to maybe three or four tap wow. dancing lessons. I love it. Like three or yeah. four. To the point where I think before the fourth one, my mum actually bought me tap shoes because I had to like wear. I think just train it. I think they gave me like. Yeah like little clippy things because mm. this was me aged like eight and i was like i want to imagine you wanted to street dance yeah i wanted to tap dance yeah and they gave you like clippy i, I remember seeing tap dances yeah they gave me strap-ons it not strap-ons strap oh my god <laughs> really but you know where this is, is that the right class? in cranbrook in like a little hall on the high street <laughs> yeah um they gave me like clip-on bits and then my mum committed to buying me tap shoes oh, yeah and the day that i had the tap shoes i went to the class and there were two boys there who were my age and they were slaying it oh, and, I was, like, and i was dog shit and i was like i hate this i never did it again 
<laughs> tap but, dancing's sick when it's yeah, like when they're really yeah, good. No, it, it is. Hard, it? it is, but it's also like oh, I, I've. I say that I've never really watched it's also it, like, but like when, I, when I do yeah. see it, I'm like, <laughs> fair enough. They tap their feet very we, fast. We, we've got. Um, we've known a couple of people that were really, really good tap dancers, and mm-hmm. they actually made it look cool. Yeah, you know, which some people don't think it is, but they I, put it into a right. Yeah. This right was very form. much like smart. Tra- I had to wear smart oh, trousers no, and like. The, little, 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 no, that that looks like Irish dancing. Well, no, obviously not. Obviously not Irish dancing, but like very formal like like that kind Mm. of stuff I can't remember what the fucking question was. <laughs> yeah, no, it, uh, about um, the Keelan train. Yeah. Let you, but no, but it was yeah about when you'd know yeah, when someone's. I, mean, I thought because you've got Josh as well, so yeah. it's like you've had that twice. Yeah, Keelan's I mean, brother. Yeah, for clarity, for context. Um, with Keelan, obviously, with the whole dance thing, I thought he was. Well, we did all think that's what he did. You said you wanted to be a professional yeah. dancer for quite a long time, and then you know the other things like the video editing. I mean, he made a film. I never forget. <laughs> Sorry, Keelan. You know the plasticine? Was oh, plasticine? yeah. Stop motion. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. Have you Do seen you know it? why? No, but like, oh. it's the Sony. My first, one of my first phones was a Sony Ericsson, mm. like the with the lip, the number pad and a tiny little screen. Yeah. It had a camera on it, and it for some reason it had a stop motion yeah, mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, I, that just blew my mind. So I was just getting little plasticine bits and like moving it. And it just seemed yeah. to be one of those really attainable things at school. Like I never got crazy into it, but I had a few friends who once mm. like Lego. It was like, oh, mm. I've got Lego. And cause they got the, the, the board with the little dots. Yeah, you can paste them in and- Yeah, you can do steps. Yeah. So it was like, well, that's easy. Mm. And then you get like these stop motion films. Yeah. I feel like I've had a deprived childhood. In- did you oh. not have Lego? Well, oh. I did, but my I- mum's my mum's childhood no, and upbringing actually, is a is a story. It's really? Ridiculous. No, we're not going to go into that one. <laughs> Are we not? Oof. No, we're not. Okay, we're not. All right. No, <laughs> it's it's like someone needs to make your. I life- did have Lego. To be fair, I had a pony, so I was not deprived in no, that way. No, but your Lego just- pony or a real pony? No, real pony. <laughs> but your upbringing <laughs> needs to be a film. I don't, yeah, I, I, it does. It's I'm not. not it's not ready for this broadcast. No, I, no, my dad used to take me to school in a Bentley, mm. which was she, really she embarrassing. Grew up with, yeah. Yeah, I'm a uh, not a rags to riches, a riches to rags person now. I think mm-hmm. I went backwards, but that's another story for <laughs> wow. another time. I don't know any of this. That's no, very yeah. exciting. A lot of people don't know. It's, it. It is a long story, but yeah. Um, lived yeah. in Canada for a bit. Yeah, I lived in what? Canada for three yeah. years. Yeah, um, yeah, a lot has happened. I probably do need to write a book, but no, no, you should. Oh, I should. Honestly, it's some of it's she quite made, hard. She yeah. made my um, one of my best Keelan, friends. Keelan, don't make me jam that microphone. I'm going to sellotape it to your chin. Was it? Do I? <laughs> You're like, yeah. Oh on. yeah, I'm, I'm meant to be. I, I do this You're so much. I'm meant to You're a professional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, she made one of my um, one of my best friends' dads. Cry. From, yeah, when we went on holiday, with, yeah, with like just her life story, and he just started crying. Yeah, it's it's pretty brutal some of it, but it, it, yeah, I mean, it's made me the complete nutcase I am. Which today. I think it actually that's why like you've I don't know I've just had such a good upbringing. Yeah, I mean, you've gone like complete opposite way to how you were brought. I up, just wanted so. Keelan to have. I mean, you know, you're a, a father, but I wanted Keelan to have a really really settled upbringing mm. because mine was so all over the place wow and i think the best thing you can do for your child is make them feel safe yeah and we don't want to get too heavy let's have a drink the weird, the, the, <laughs> <laughs> there's so many things there because yeah. it's like even you saying you know you're a father it's like fuck i am yeah, like yeah i'm here on a friday yeah. drinking yeah. drinking white claws um <laughs> is that what it's called nah. I mean, no no i've got? got i've got the cheaper ones because they're well, you uh, got me cheap ones. Well, he bought a box. Excuse me, cheap me. Ones. I am the special guest. He bought a box. I bought the the yeah. singles because I wasn't drinking okay. as much. Um, yeah. But yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, I thought Keelan was going to be a dancer. I I just wanted, and my husband Noel for anyone. That Nolly. No one. Nolly. Nolly. Yeah. Nolly. Nolly Ed. Yeah. Basically, Noel's experience as a child was you have to do this. His dad was a carpenter. And he said, right, you know, you need to have a trade, you need to do this. And Noel didn't have a choice yeah, yeah, yeah. in where he could go. So Noel was of the firm belief that our children, no matter how crazy they, whatever they wanted to do, they get the opportunity to do what they want to have do. a go at what they want to do because you're working a long time. Yeah. Oh yeah. And you need to be doing something you love if you can. Yeah. I mean, you know, so we've kind of supported Keelan with, obviously with the dance and then obviously 
parkour was hard because I had a lot of people going, oh, how can you, you're a bad mum, how can you? Oh, we can get into this, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, mm. that's a lot, there's a lot there to say about, but um, really wanted to give him the chance to be able to do what he wanted to do because I didn't have the chance, I had to get a job. The priority for me was to get a job, I needed to earn money, didn't matter what it was. You needed to get money to pay for I don't know, to help out. The Benley. Yeah. Benley to, feels expensive. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, the, the long story of my childhood is ended up quite poor in the end. And so, yeah, I needed to get out and get the 18. I was like, my mum was like. Fending for yourself. Yeah. yeah. So I had about three Saturday jobs when I was 15. And, you know, yeah. so, but I wanted Keelan to have the opportunity to just, you know, be able to do. Have that. Yeah. And I mean, I think it's incredible yeah and it's it's it honestly it's something that i aspire mm. now like with daisy i keep saying to sarah it's like you, she effectively can do whatever she wants to do yeah. unless mm. it's kill someone yeah obviously um, there are some limits but you know i mean it depends on who they kill so, like sometimes yeah. you'll be like yeah yeah but well, that's it. fair enough I, I think i had it i had it <laughs> i had it further down where is it i can't find it but i mean genuinely genuinely i don't think i've ever heard a uh, uh, ever heard keelan say a bad word about you Ever. How much did you pay him? Nothing. Like it's <laughs> literally lots of money. No, but honestly, like <laughs> there I don't I honestly that's not even like me trying to be like oh. mm. but it's so easy to be like, oh mm. mum's mum's got him tell me to do this or whatever. Mom's but it's so lucky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you and are. you and dad make my life so easy. Like I mean you have many rights to complain about him because the amount of times <laughs> you have had to message me and be like I know. Like we've been on the yeah. other side of the world yeah. and Keelan's like, you know, hurt his ankles or something and <laughs> you'll like you'll get a message going like Keelan messaged me an hour ago saying he's hurt himself but he hasn't said why <laughs> and then he isn't replying I know and I it's know. like I mean should I get into travel and yeah stuff. there's so much stuff to go into there's so yeah. many aspects of this yeah let's let's bring it back a bit so what was your when Keelan started getting into parkour mm, from a dance perspective this. and and parkour I guess was seen as a bit more dangerous yeah, yeah. did you what, know what did, had you ever seen anything from parkour before I started no. Did I have to explain that to you? Did you kind of just think it was flips a bit like Keelan yeah, did? Yeah, I mean, yeah. to be honest, no one explained it. I just thought you told me that's what you were doing. So well, it so wasn't, just, the, but the thing is why- I'm, I'm it, doing this it now. Was, yeah. This is what I'm doing, this is parkour. Yeah. Yeah, it was I, the first thing that I started mm. doing that wasn't with like you or help with someone. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because like with dance and stuff, it was it like- was, I was taking I, you to places. Yeah, you were helping and, me yeah, out, yeah, but yeah. this was something on the side. Mm -hmm. I didn't know I wanted to do it, do mm. it. Like it was just, you know, it started because Sam, who's usually here, and most people know Sam. Mm. Now, yeah. He, we met at the dance class that we're yeah, talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dancer as well. And, that, yeah. and we would sneak out and like. <laughs> yeah. We told it. We had such we a good. We said that. So like, yeah, that. Such a good chat with Sam. Mm -hmm. If anyone hasn't listened to it, the, yeah. the, it's a quite a long podcast, but with Sam Sutherland, it's really, really good. Sam's mm. lovely. And yeah. that was like, if you think about how long ago that was, mm. I didn't know that anyone could do parkour and like kind of live off of it in any way or whatever. Mm. Still so we, can't. Yeah, still can't. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. anyone with the high hopes. But yeah, so it was just my our mm. little thing. Yeah. So I don't remember when I actually probably told you where I was like, I'm gonna try and do this more. I just don't remember you being on the shed roof a lot, really. But I guess at that age, it was still just like, it's up. It's well, a, it's just messing around. With, yeah, it's just a hobby, it's a, a yeah. thing. Cause I mean, yeah. what, you were like, 11 yeah so it's like yeah yeah it's not like you're thinking about oh what's my 11 year old gonna do no. for a job mm. but i guess also you had uh, were you earning money as a dancer or had you won any or? um you did, we did do some yeah. like little commercial jobs and stuff but yeah. i was so young that i didn't really need that mon sort of money if yeah. it came in yeah. then i just buy she, she just yeah. nicked it all. nicked it yeah. <laughs> that's the work yeah buy an easter egg that's the one easter egg yeah. 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 no, but like yeah. when he was 11 let's say and you thought he was going to be a dancer mm. And he, I don't know, do a commercial job. Were you thinking like, cool, this is going to be his financial career? Yeah, I mean, so I, you, yeah, you yeah, were, yeah, pretty yeah. much, yeah. I mean, you had a few bit parts in films and stuff, didn't you? Yeah, well, because there's like yeah. street dance films and stuff. Yeah. Sorry, no, no, I didn't have a part, but we'd like be like the extras and we yeah. get involved. I was going to say we, we like, need we need to find these and yeah, <laughs> like they're one of our. Um, so one of my good friends at the time who went to my. Um, my breakdance class or street dance class called Akai. He, um, do you remember the Sky Ones thing? Well, you probably never watched it, but it's called Got to Dance. I know the name. Yeah. yeah. So it was like Britain's Got Talent, but just for dancing. Yeah. And it was their first time they ever ran the show. 
Oh, uh, okay. It was on Sky One. Mm. And my friend who entered in won it on the From first time. And he won 250,000 yeah. pounds. Wow. So, I, yeah, it was ridiculous. <laughs> and I remember, like, after that, I didn't see him for ages. And mm. then we went over to his house for, like, a party and things. Yeah. And there was, like, I don't know if there was people filming it and it things. Was it was so, TV. like, was out Sky of this TV, world. Yeah. It was like, what's he yeah. doing now? Don't know. I, like, I think like every music. famous person. Yeah. 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 Go into music. He didn't stay a dancer, which is a real shame because yeah. he's very good. But, but he was th- in a few films and things. He had, yeah. like, actual parts in yeah. film. Yeah. Wow. And he was, on, um, he was on a show on... Um, was it on BBC One or was something? He, yeah. Um, that was an after school so, kind of so the show. Thing, yeah. So yeah, he did get into acting a bit. The the point being is that like through dance you could see many like avenues where yeah. people were making yeah. careers out of you it. You could see the money. And yeah. like yeah. even yeah. my teacher knew loads of people who were in professional like yeah. dance crews that were yeah, like yeah, making yeah. it yeah. as a living. How how was it when Keelan kind of clearly was moving away from dance from like a I guess because I mean, he obviously found a new passion, and therefore mm. you're like, well, he's enjoying himself. But from that, like, oh, he could get some, he could make a living out of this, and mm. then he turned away from it. And like, it was, it was absolutely gutting for me. I yeah. will be honest, because he had such potential, and I think one of the last things he did on TV was on, um, and actually, it was Britain's Got Talent wasn't it? I think was the last yeah. thing. But the one before that, before he went on Britain's Got Talent, he did Got to Dance. Mm. And I could see then that he was like, his interest was waning a bit. Yeah. And it was really sad because the feedback he got was immense. Mm. And even though his heart wasn't in it so much, he was still doing brilliantly. And then he did, you did Britain's Got Talent, didn't you? What, with... Um, um, with Methods with of methods, Movement. Yeah. yeah, with a crew, a Because I stopped, it crew. slowly, you could see the kind of transition from mm. like, I did all these different like dance styles and stuff and then it transitioned to just breaking. Yeah. Mm. Like, I did all of them and I just like kind of got bored of those. Had you found parkour by this stage? Yeah. yeah so okay. it was around then I found parkour and I think I realised within breaking it was probably the most similar. Yeah. Break dancing and stuff. And a few of them actually did a bit of like flips and stuff. Yeah. And then I left them, and that was a different class. We, we we used to drive up to like South End. Yeah, every we used to drive stuff. to South End. He'd have a what was it, a two or three hour rehearsal. And it was just Sunday. the funny thing is, it's called training. You know, like yeah. if you yeah. train, yeah. they're yeah. like they're always like, "Oh, you come in training yeah. this weekend or something." It's so funny. Occasionally, people like call you out. Like you're like, "Oh, I'm going training," and they're like, "What are you training for?" Yeah, and you're I know. Like, <laughs> we'd have the same thing. Yeah, you like, suddenly, you're suddenly like, "Why do I use that word?" Yeah, yeah. but it's no. the same thing. Like it was just one hall, and everyone was in the hall, and they'd just be working their own like own stuff, and then you'd get help and you'd train with someone, try and learn a new thing with someone and whatever. But I'm, that was the hardest thing, leaving that. Because that was like a family. Because that yeah. was the yeah. first time, yeah. like there was people my age and like, yeah, it was just... And I think if it had been nearer, you might have kept it up a bit longer. It was quite a long journey. Yeah. You yeah. got a few paid jobs out of that though, didn't you? Yeah. And no, then, they did pretty well. I mean, yeah. And then that kind of, it was sad because you know, selfishly for me, I lost a community that I was part mm. of as Yeah, well. fuck, so, I didn't think about that. Oh, you yeah. think about that either. You make Oops. all these dance friends. Mm. She, yeah, and you were friends with all the mums yeah, and things. We, we used to go on holiday. Oh no. I know, we went on holiday together and it was all that kind of camaraderie that you get um, where you're supporting your child. And, I mean, I didn't miss the- Keelan, hop- what have you done? I know. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. So, yeah, I did, I did miss, I mean, obviously I am. I mean, you could come to more parkour events. I mean, do I you wouldn't, know what? I, I wouldn't even say no to that. Do you know that. what? Yeah. I mean, sad- this will be your jumping off point. Yeah, right? obviously. Yeah. I, I mean, I am available for bookings. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> but um, in a similar vein, stop laughing. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> in a similar vein, I felt a bit of that camaraderie and it's quite sad because it was at Nye's. You know, the first jam mm, after Nye mm, died. We're going to talk about that yeah, for sure. Um, that was when I first met other parkour mums. Yeah. Mm. And that was akin to the whole dance thing. Mm. Um, and that's where I met, obviously, Aidan's mum, who's yeah. obviously passed as well now. Mm. Um, and it was just that connection of people that know how it is as a mum. To feel, yeah. yeah. Well, I, th- I think that's why we think this podcast potentially, mm. I mean, let's, I guess we should probably start to move away from the dancing because I think yeah. this podcast- It's not about the dancing. No, though. but I think this podcast no. does have yeah. potential to resonate yeah. with mm. some people and hopefully their sort of parents because mm. I think Definitely. you- have a very interesting perspective mm. um, and you've you've done, I mean, there's no right thing to do, but you've been an incredible parent to Keelan with regards oh, to kind of you. doing, doing like that and letting yeah. him, letting him have it. Um, and I think in return, you've, 
you've never I, I've always felt like you've always had a very strong connection to your family almost because oh, they've yeah, yeah because yeah. they've let you do that yeah yeah like you, they've let you go rather than being like you can't do this yeah yeah if anything no, it's I, like I've never actually felt that ever that's the thing guys, with so I, I mean I know very little about parenting from a personal perspective perspective mm. but I mean my parents were always really free as well but it does seem to be that if you say you can't do that the kid's mm. gonna do that anyway and then absolutely. they're gonna resent you yeah mm. absolutely so it's like yeah yeah the, the only thing it does do is sometimes it makes me a bit lazy and I think, or, yeah, or, or com is it complacent? Complacent, is that the right yeah. Word? yeah. Because I'm so used to you, all like you and dad being mm. like, yeah, do whatever you want, do this. Yeah. And yeah. I'm doing like this job right now. And, and I'll be like, oh, I can't bother to do that. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. look at where I am. I need to be I think there's, there's definitely like, like uh, a huge, huge benefit from adversity mm. in the sense that, because mm. I've spoken to my parents about but this one. It comes from like, sorry, I'm burping like mad. <laughs> um, from like a financial perspective or like a support perspective where it's like mm. sometimes, especially as you get a little bit older into those like teenage mm. years, it's good to be like, like, oh, I don't know how to use a washing machine. It's like, figure it out. Mm. Or like, oh, I need money, go earn it. Yeah. You know, Cause otherwise you get to like, I've, yeah. I've had friends who were like in their twenties and they're like, I don't know how to like. I don't. Know I how didn't to. know how to use a washing machine for a long yeah, time. I yeah, actually, yeah, yeah, I had to go and seek out you and yeah. go, Mum. I, I still thing, don't know how to yeah. use it's a washing like that machine. Intuitive, to teach it, me. It, yeah, yeah, and it's yeah. those little things yeah. where it's like, I mean, it's such a minor thing, it's, but yeah, yeah. It, it really Just does the make life a difference. skills. But I do feel, in some ways, I've been to. I've let, you said that before. I've let Keelan. I've done a lot of stuff, maybe, and I should have let him do more on his own. But I think that's led from my childhood. Because mm, what you're trying to do the opposite almost. I just want him to have the best experience ever. Yeah. Because you're not a child. I know you're not a child now, but you know, you're not a child Still for very life. long. And it's supposed to be this lovely, carefree part of your life, you know. And I wanted you to have that. So I wasn't hitting you with all the heavy stuff like washing machine and all that kind of <laughs> but Maybe heavy. Yeah. that's real heavy. Yeah. <laughs> dishwasher, yeah. dishwasher. Yeah. Don't know. Yeah, but I, I, the dishwasher. Maybe I should have done. I mean, I. I but there's always the, the the problem is there will always, always be, be yeah. the like how because my mom asked me. She my mom will literally turn to me and she'll be like, "Was I a good parent?" And mm. I'm like, "Yeah, you were fucking great." Mm. Mm. And then in other times I'll be like, "Well, you like the money thing for me is the biggest because mm. like I did not grow up in a wealthy family, mm. but we were never like you know excruciatingly no. poor." And there were times where like, it would have, I think having now grown up and I know people who went through much more struggles and mm. then from a financial perspective, they have a much better understanding and value over like grafting and earning their own money yeah. and treasuring that and, and sort of, because they weren't in that situation. Yeah. So if they wanted something, they had to go out and get it. Yeah. Whereas there were definitely periods in my childhood where it was like, oh, I want that. And mm. then it would be given to me mm. or I'd kind of, you know, just I, I my relationship with my mom is like, I can, sort of you just I'm, I, I can play her like a fucking fiddle if you know what I mean like I can get <laughs> do you know what I mean we have such a close relationship yeah, that I can yeah. like yeah and and so and so she there was that and, and and in hindsight I'm like fuck I actually wish you'd almost said like no mm. go out and earn it mm -hmm. yeah so yeah. but anyway let's should we should we dive into we, the yeah, scary you, stuff you were start, well I, I just want because you started talking about meeting other parkour mums mm. and things like that mm. I just wanted to know what the difference was between all these like dance parents because I knew all the dance parents and things yeah, and I watched sure. you guys like talk and things girls young and all of that but like when when you went to the jam which was Nye's mm. when Nye died and then the jam happened I just wanted to know like what the difference was like interacting with the parents and things like how that was right. what was that what was the, what was the conversation what happened I mean it's weird I guess it was a weird time yeah. with yeah. regards to conversations yeah. wasn't it it, it like, was I mean I'd met had I met them before? I'm trying to think if I, I had. I don't think you had I because this, I mean, we're, we're missing out mm. a chunk where it's like, mm. when do you let your child go out and do what they want? Because yeah. the, like the first time I went training in London, you came with me. And yeah, went same. Off. When I yeah. was 13, my dad would come up. Yeah. The, yeah. the first jam I went to, a guy yeah. split his shin open to <gasps> the bone. Really? Oh. Yeah. We, I stood next to my dad. He did a, a <laughs> jump at Southbank and he bashed his in shin. In front of your dad? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. He did a pre at Southbank and he bashed his shin. And we all kind of went, oh, that was bad. And then he was wearing joggers and he pulled them up and his shin was like that big to the bone. Oh. And my dad, I remember he'd said to me on the way home, or like, I don't know if it was on the way home or even a little bit later, he was just like, holy shit, like what, like, what am I doing with my, my little boy kind of thing? Yeah. Um, 
Mm. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, but there, was, there was a time where you would ev- like eventually just let me go off. Yeah. And I'd yeah. start going to Guildford and I'd start going to all these yeah. places. And this is all, all parkour mums have done this, I guess, mm. or just mum, parents in general. But yeah, all mums. With parkour, it's very kind of like, you're in this place, you're in Guildford, yeah. for example, and then suddenly you're in like London again, you're doing this. And yeah. Cause like, there's, there's so many elements of like being a parent that you can mm. one, just put yourself in. And now I find with Daisy, I can imagine slightly more. Cause now I have this like weird internal, deep like protectiveness mm. already i can feel it i'm like fuck when she's 16 like i don't mm. i'm scared of her doing this or whatever yeah but it's like well any parent whether you, wherever you live anything it's like you don't want your it, i don't know you don't you're oh i'm worried about my child going off with this certain person mm. or yeah. Yeah. you know doing drugs mm. or yeah. getting involved with this yeah and things and it's like all of that side mm-hmm. you know for sure mm. your child is going out and jumping off stuff and doing flips yeah, yeah. Like, how is that when you're, I don't know, just at your job or it's, at- it's bloody scary. Um, is it still scary now or is yeah, it a bit less scary? I mean, the thing is, I kind of feel a bit luckier because I know Keelan is quite, does a lot of low level stuff or so mm. I think I'm probably completely wrong. But well, no, I do yeah. like, like I yeah, you're, you're not yeah. like a enjoy, height guy. No, no. and I, I do, I do enjoy pushing it when it comes to that. But yeah. like, in a, on a but when I've seen, level. for example, a big example of this was the one that went viral. The IMAX one. Yeah, yeah. I thought we'd talk about it. Yeah. IMAX got on front for anyone yeah. who hasn't. So um, basically, that was when we first sort of thought, oh, he might make because you did make a bit of money out of that, didn't you? Yeah. For um, anyone who doesn't know, who doesn't know, it was the only video I got where it got like shared by Unilad and things like that. So. It, picked up like yeah. traction. Do, IMAX Confront. It was the IMAX Confront, Confront, which had been done before, but I think it was the first time like- Did you do anything out or not? Did I did Confront round off dub four, but, but it, went it, was, it was more because it, I think it, it was up, all of it? the, um, so there was people like walking underneath IMAX and then yeah. there was some cars going. And I think for muggles watching it, it was like, oh, this looks kind of And then somebody scary. made but that it mental done. edit where you like fell into it. and died, yeah. Yeah, that but was weird. I think it was more the fact that that had been done loads of times before. It had mm. by Jaden and things. But it was, it was an iPhone clip yeah. on Instagram. So yeah, like yeah. muggles picked it up. Mm. And I just remember being like, there was just so much hate towards it. And yeah. I remember that. Yeah, so Keenan was saying you got, you got direct hate, right? <clears throat> mm. Yeah, oh, excuse me, I just spat everywhere. Sorry. It's all right. Can you edit that bit <laughs> it's all right. out? It's all right. <laughs> yeah, sure. Oh, sorry. Yeah, We've you're not going co- to. we got the plastic COVID <laughs> screens. Like, mm. Yeah, just disinfect this. Yeah. Just, um, yeah, that particular video, uh, well, yeah, it was quite, there was a lot of, hate comments and i start someone helpfully i mean it was not helpfully i don't think it was important they mm-hmm. shouldn't have done it but one of my friends on facebook kind of tagged me in and went oh have you seen all this <laughs> and actually i i hadn't at that point mm. and, I, and I, I might have missed it mm. and it was quite hard to see and then i realized that you've got to just scroll because i guess to you mm. like i don't know if i go through an instagram comment and mm. keelan has it's gone, something's gone semi-viral or mm. whatever. And there's like, I don't know, a friend of ours mm. being like, yo, that's sick. Mm. And then a person who's clearly unrelated mm. to parkour mm. going like, you're a fucking idiot, you're yeah. gonna yeah. die. Yeah. To me, I'm like, that guy's a fool. He's just chatting shit yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. But to you, seeing someone say to your child, like yeah. you're going to die. Yeah, it's horrible. It's all kind it's of the same, yeah. And then you get the, um, we had, there was an article in our local um, newspaper ages and ages ago because you had was that after or before the IMAX I can't remember but they had a big spread you, you, you were on um, the guy yeah, yeah a guy came over and like a yeah so they did, the local paper. did a yeah. feature on Keelan and then there were some letters in the newspaper the following week and this woman actually oh, said what were people sh- write in yeah and they said that I should be reported to social services and that wow. I should they should assess my parenting skills because that's I, so and horrible it, and it was it's actually so cruel and i sat and cried because yeah I was because like, it's like you don't yeah, know i just oh it was awful i was so upset but then my friend friend of ours he was quite a keen letter writer he wrote another letter in absolutely slating her yeah who was that that was simon simon yeah as in the ex-police officer yeah simon. so yeah. he was like i'm not having that because he knew keelan because his daughter went to school with keelan yeah. and he was like you know but this woman she just she laid into the whole thing they said she, they said 
you were, were I love like you, I, the thing is right and the, the way to look at that but it, I imagine it's so it hard from so your upsetting. yeah so hard mm. is to be like that person has taken the time out of their day mm. to one read an article get so annoyed <laughs> that they're going to write into a newspaper it's weird isn't that it that won't be printed for another week <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah like I know I think sometimes it's just it, they want to get featured yeah, yeah. Or they just they, they want that moment of spotlight really because mm. that's so much effort to do that I know but it was I mean the thing about social services and my parenting skills was really tough yeah to be. fucking hell like, because you know as a parent you often think am i doing the right thing am i doing the right thing constantly i mean no one gets a handbook you so, and you have no yeah. idea what like and also i mean now with social media mm. and things you get the the sort of oh that person's parenting yeah. and life looks so perfect yeah, exactly so you're like shit like I why know, i know so i found that really really hard and i and it, it took something that was quite positive and made it all negative which yeah. was really tough mm. um but you know I, I have people quite often saying how do you let him do that like he's not his own person yeah well that's <laughs> the thing I mean? because if you didn't he'd yeah, do, he'd it, do anyway. it anyway you'd do it anyway and you, yeah. you two wouldn't be as close as yeah, you are no. exactly i'd much rather we talked about what he was doing mm. i do worry but at the same time well the thing that i've realized right sorry i'm mm. i'm as you have probably experienced i'm terrible for interrupting that's okay i talk over <laughs> your son all the time uh to the point where people message me and they're like you talk over keelan and then i sit in bed Aww. and i'm like Fuck. um the thing that i've realized within maybe a month of having daisy is i now have a fear and a worry and a guilt that will ne it, it like not like a, not like they exist i have a box of emotion within mm. within me now that is completely about daisy and it's it's worry and it's mm. sort of guilt to like i'm not spending time with her or mm. whatever that is never going to go away it's mm. there because she is another life form and she's part yeah. of me so it's like it's always there mm. so for you and then you get these things that are exacerbated yeah. because it's like, well, yeah. he's either doing something dangerous yeah, or somebody's exactly. saying something bad about him. It, yeah. that, it all gets put in that box. Yeah, yeah, mm. it is, it's really hard. And I do- I remember you, you, us having that conversation as well when you were showing me all these comments and things because I hadn't been reading them. Yeah. Because I, I know that happens. Mm. Yeah. Because it would happen even before like but I'd something went viral. But I'd never experienced it. No, so it's like, it, like you said, it's just people who don't know parkour. I think so if like, you, yeah. Oh, they don't know, par mm. know parkour. And sometimes you do reply to them like I have in the past. Yeah, it's great fun. And, it, and yeah, it's just fun. <laughs> like I did it, one of the recent ones where I slipped and fell in Horsham, I think it was. Yeah. And I didn't bail, but like, Sometimes you have a go and reply mm. to them because you're like, this guy, it's just funny yeah. because they don't, they obviously don't understand yeah, it. Yeah. And normally they don't reply back and then occasionally- I know, like, you usually win a bit, but like mm. for you, it's just, yeah, it's so much more serious and it's also so much yeah. more personal yeah. because it's something that- Yeah, and I-, I, I You don't I'd have a handbook I'd not too. been used to that. I'd never mm. seen that kind of thing before. It was very new. Mm. Um, but yeah, I mean, obviously I've learned now that, you know, you just have to skip the comments yeah. because- as I've had to explain again and again to non-parkour people, Keelan doesn't just go and do something. There's prep, mm. there's yeah, so, much, so much prep. And people just think you're a bunch of loonies running around Who jumping. just lob. Yeah. Well, the yeah. it's, it's, it's a problem with the media that is put yeah. out because yeah. obviously yeah, no. Keelan confronting IMAX, people yeah. go, oh, that's mm. the first time he's ever done yeah. that move. Yeah. Whereas it's like all the prep. Yeah, exactly. But when did you, I guess it's just been a gradual process because I guess you thought of parkour as flips and stuff because mm -hmm. that's what Keelan thought, mm -hmm. and then it progressed into sort of more, sort of like yeah, well, it whatever was, movement. Yeah, started jumps and things. Yeah, and, but I, mean, I get, I get. Has it just been like a gradual concern slash like understanding? It's been a learning process. I yeah, guess. it has. I mean, I've learned so much about, and I even know some of the the lingo do some, you some what do things. you know yeah no, i want to know what no, you know i don't know I, no, do don't. you know any of them build a line tell me a line what would you do um <laughs> do you know any of the moves i know, I know some a twist an a twist you really? start with an a twist all right okay <laughs> this is this is claire what ryan's would you do after comp that? line uh whatever you know congainer <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> How would you set up into an age? Well, you take shape? a couple of steps, you know, yeah. keep it flowing. Unless you were landing on the wall facing the wall. Off Very, the yeah. The one you, you took off of. And is, oh, okay. what? Is there one called a cat prey or something? Cat pass prey. Oh, yeah, yeah, not bad. Yeah, that one. Yeah. That one. Yeah. If you, you really wanted to get crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Or you could congain a prey. Uh, yeah. And then 
I'd maybe do a descent or something. A descent? Yeah. This really? is a start doing a descent. <laughs> <laughs> what a weird line. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what the yeah. other twiddly bits are called. Yeah. Do you know? Do you know? At, what you're saying it? words. Do you know what those words mean? I do. <laughs> no, what you're just saying. No, I, I do know what some yeah. of them are. <laughs> you're yeah. saying, it's like saying, oh, I'll do a descent. Thinking yeah. of something else. No, I do. Yeah. I do know what some of them are. But Keelan made me watch lots of parkour videos in the beginning the thing is i remember that yeah. and, I, and it's weird that like i'd never do that now. yeah how, how is that i used to when, i used when to it, find when i when i found one that was all like you'd I'd get your parents yeah, yeah i'd, I'd do be the same. like i've got mum watch this, yeah. this and your parents were like oh that's yeah. cool you'd wait yeah the whole five minutes and that and was be before like, we had <laughs> phones like now yeah. if daisy does that to me i'll be like oh yeah that's cool <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah exactly but um yeah i mean some of the things he showed me like stora mm as great as Stora are. Um, oh my God, this is going to be the bit we clip out for Instagram. Go on. What are you going to, what are you going to say? No, it's just don't show me those bloody roof gaps. <laughs> oh, okay. What? I thought you were going to diss some serious dirt no, there. No, like, no, no. Mm. You're not paying yeah. me enough. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. Yeah. The thing I is just, they did, they yeah. definitely did influence me when yeah. I was younger to go on roofs and things. Yeah. And I remember yeah, us having yeah, a Yeah, what was that like? Because sort of, cause I, you you probably got more into roofs than I ever did. Mm. Uh, yeah. I think you were part of that generation that really got it into it. It started like, happening, yeah, because urbex mm. started happening. So like mm. you'd have a training day yeah. on ground level and things and you'd maybe do a few roof gaps and mm. stuff. But then when it got towards sunset, it'd be like, you wouldn't even speak about it. It'd just be a thing that you'd go for a climb. Yeah. Do you remember when I started climbing cranes and started doing uh, all that yeah, stuff? That was and horrible. that was the first point, mm. I think, where it was like we were having serious talks. We were mm. like, I don't know whether you should be doing yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I think Keelan, sorry, Keelan, you did struggle with the whole idea of trespassing. Mm. Yeah. He didn't seem to get that. Well, it doesn't help when dad actually like kind of enforces it a bit. He loves his trespassing stuff. He's always. Oh, you mean me, encourages it? Yeah, a tiny bit. Yeah. Uh, He's always telling me about like how annoying it is that trespassing is a thing now and yeah i mean <laughs> you'd come you'd come home and you'd go yeah I, i've been climbing on this and that and i'm like yeah, your dad's like fuck you. yeah <laughs> and i yeah and i'm being like that's someone's property yeah. you can't you've got and i think it took a while for keelan to realize because you got into trouble didn't you in trouble with the mayor of seven oaks or something yeah they passed. they took me out of my gcse exam because because the well, mayor mid is, exam afterwards so it finished and in front of everyone they um my, one of the teachers came in and was like, oh yeah you need to go and see the head teacher and then so i was taken out while everyone was sat down because obviously everyone leaves at wow the same time. because the mayor of seven oaks seven oaks is like the town nearest to where i live was he sitting there with his chain on no uh, well when he he caught us on his on this like a theater ruth uh, roof, and it was okay. him but um yeah the head teacher of my school was good friends with him uh, and she had a meeting and i was so scared but she was great. She was like, if I tell you not to do go on roofs and stuff like that, you're going to do it anyway. So could you just not do it in Seven Oaks? <laughs> oh, that's great. It's great. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. She was just like, I know that you do this and you're not yeah. crazy. I like it when you get conversations like that with like locals or things and they're like, don't do it here, but go over there. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> fuck that business. Go yeah. over there. Keelan got, he got let off quite a lot of stuff because his school loved him. They, it's because he's a cheeky yeah. chap. It was, oh, it he's was one of those. It's all part of that. Yeah. It yeah. Was, I mean, at, at secondary school, he he obviously had all that dance stuff. He'd been on TV. You did that I just show. helped out with a lot of stuff that I think. Yeah, I think yeah. that's the secret. Yeah. You help out a lot with your school. Then and when you get into yeah. trouble, they're like, oh, I don't want to like... But they, yeah, yeah, yeah honestly, them. Keelan yeah. could do no wrong in their eyes. Mm. I mean, you know, yeah. even when... It's you, all right. Now that he's here, he's... <sighs> But what, yeah. um, going back to like the, the roof stuff and things, mm. I mean, I, I don't really look I at that. Like he, gets off, he wants to get off the conversation because you start saying nice things. <laughs> yeah. You're like, no, no uh, one can no do nice wrong things. about Keelan. <laughs> Fuck but this. Like, um, I mean, for example, I, I don't really do that anymore. No. I mean, we, I've never, yeah, we, we never would have lied to each other or anything. No. I'd always tell you what, what was happening. But um, yeah, that's, that's not just really a thing. reminded me of something really funny. Sorry. Tell me afterwards. No, I yell too. Oh. If it, well, oh. <laughs> if it's okay for podcast, mm. um, no, like that's that was definitely a theme for a while within the parkour community, mm. especially in like London, yeah, yeah, or just England in general, just having climbs after training. Yeah, then yeah. it got, then it got yeah. ruined it, by it just people. yeah, people yes. kind of capitalized on it a bit, and yeah. and it was it was always about leave no kind of yeah. trace, yeah. And yeah, yeah, get what you need, but um, if yeah, what would your opinion be now of like let's say I started doing it again, or if but like what's else the what's doing the, it again? Like what's, what's your opinion sort of, on it in general? But I what's think? the what's the level? Because I mean, like 
we were on a roof well, a week or two ago. Mm. Like we still go on roofs and stuff, but, but it's like, more the climbs and things. Cause I used to post like going up on cranes and mm. Yeah, cause it's yeah. like, I was yeah. never hanging off at them. And no. the, there's the, people who did The that. roof we were on was the back of a shop and you walk up some stairs and then climb up a wall, yeah. which mm. is effectively, you can do that on the street. Yeah. Mm. And yes, it's a bit high and the arm jump, yeah. like you and Sam were doing, you could find the same height mm. on a, like, I mean, if not much higher than the roof of this, room it's yeah. just technically from a technical perspective we're on a roof mm. but actually it's like but i guess yeah it's it's the like it's yeah i just want to know it's what your cranes and that. high shit that mm. it's height height for the sake of height i that's think it's, it yeah. yeah because we're more nowadays going on height because there's a particular spot that's very unique well it's like you could you could fall from the height of this roof mm. and be comp onto the floor and be completely fine because yeah. you do it all the time it's mm. just technically it's a roof yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Exactly. i mean yeah the big the big climbs were scary yeah and especially because you're finding out afterwards yeah, yeah and like and and i mean like it's it's kind of dark I mean, you did you hear about johnny Mm. Don't think so. No, I was I never properly so. friends with him, but it was a, he was a London very athlete. well, yeah, mm. very, very loved well. guy from London, part mm. of the London community. Johnny. He did a lot of like night climbs, and no one knows exactly how he died, but he was basically found dead at the bottom of a building. Mm. Mm. And it's like it's it's the kind of thing where it's from a parent's perspective, oh, it's you you don't know until it's after the fact, mm. and you, it's it's all fine until it isn't kind of thing. Mm. So it's like it's terrifying from your yeah, perspective yeah mm -hmm. i mean absolutely i mean i'm just so glad you don't do those things <laughs> <laughs> you don't do those things um yeah i mean mm. yeah i mean when you were doing that climbing it wasn't good mm. i was very worried um but you know i mean it is dangerous all that stuff but in another perspective when keelan passed his driving test when he went out for a drive, I was like, oh my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So there, there's I mean, always, statistics, yeah, yeah, statistically. Yeah, yeah. there's there's mm. always something to worry about. Yeah. Um, but obviously that brings more worry if you're doing that kind of, but yeah. I trust Keelan now that he's, the thing I didn't realise about parkour is, is the amount of prepping that goes mm. into it. Mm. And it's not just an off the cuff it's, jump. It's not, um, no one commemorates sketchy people within no, parkour. No. no one's like that's not a thing yeah, that people like. Yeah. So that's that's a good thing. I think it's I think no one's just yeah. doing sketchy things and people are like, yeah, go yeah. do that. Like, but I do think it's such a shame that it's more not more known how much you guys train for something. Yeah, mm. yeah. Because do, quick question: Do you know how good Keelan is? Like, do you have an understanding? Not really, um, because he is. Notorious. He'll try and divert off of this subject. Yeah, yeah he, I don't. He, I don't know how I'd even I put don't, a word in for this. But like the way that he is, because how would you compare that to anyone? But Everyone's what, so different. What I mean is, you had a measure of how good he was in dance mm, because of true. competitions, yeah, and you're like, oh, yeah, he, he went judged, to the Euros. Yeah, it yeah, was yeah. judged. Yeah. As much as there are competitions, and mm. Keenan doesn't necessarily compete, he is. Fuck, like I need to, he'll, he'll get all this awkward. This is awful. Oh no, it's no, going red already. <laughs> no, I don't know what to say to stuff like that. No, but you, mate, mate, you are like unbelievably Ow. talented. Don't break your hand. <laughs> he's he's incredibly talented to the point where like, and he doesn't post that much. No, if, I know. That, but that's choice. Yeah. Mm. But he's one of the special ones, if you know yeah. what I mean. Oh, look, you're yes! looking. I'm going to make her cry. <laughs> special ones. We're going to make her cry. It's going to happen. Well, By I'm the a, way. I'm a special one. You like I'm so that, from a movement perspective and like an inspiration perspective there are people who adore your child it's weird mm. i mean i don't sorry <laughs> is that it it's weird but i think on such a on such a like better level than i mean i don't know what he was like and how influential he was in dancing but obviously social media has come on and now he really fucking influences people yeah and the way that they move and stop it stop it's cringing it's no no it's sick like yeah. i think but i don't think you get to see it as much because you might see comments and it's like oh mate you're amazing yeah but like he's very fucking talented yeah so i think there's a lot to be proud of there even if i am proud. he isn't on mm. got to dance or whatever yeah. it is no i mean i am proud of him um he's just so bloody humble it's annoying sometimes uh to be honest you don't see me live with my friends mate, he's stuff. awful mm. i do when he gets one instagram like mm. i like, show everyone he's like yeah. got a like guys and another then like two two another like it's terrible <laughs> but no but that is funny because you don't get to see me like be with my friends and you just no. you only know me when i'm with you, you don't want to see him with your friends like are you different are you completely different well i i like to think i'm not but maybe no i, I don't i don't think you are <laughs> do you know what i think 
Nah, are you saying he's not? Are you saying he's not? Bloggy would know, I think. Yeah. Can you turn I'm Bloggy's mic up quickly? Yeah. I good. feel Bloggy. I'm really sorry. Tell, me, I, tell, tell you can say Keenan what. Is, is fantastically genuine, right? You know how some people Am completely I? switch when they're like around their parents. Yeah, 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 yeah no. That's this so is good. I thought maybe I switch. No, you are the same oh. person. You're the same person, which is weird to say. It's like, oh, of course you're the same, but like, God. no, he's not. Yeah, some people like, are. So God. God. I'm a bit guilty of that sometimes, where I just get a bit like. Ugh. Some people oh, are you, you have your reasons though. I just want to shout out Bloggy also because you've been pretty much sitting in silence tapping buttons so thank you yeah it it's must right. be such a boring job this, no no this is great because i always get to, i get to hear it firsthand yeah. you know yeah, and it's yeah. like this is really interesting because it's actually a really good topic like, well i am mm. the special guest yeah like we, by the way like? we did float the idea of you and my mum being on oh. why haven't the, you you haven't met no, his mom yeah. no i, I, I really mom. want you the to problem think. with that is it would not be about parkour and you would find some like you know <laughs> Some something that you both bond over, and it would yeah. be like swimming or something. And then you'd, you'd, we'd shove you yeah, it. Would, yeah, yeah, yeah. It would be the on, we just we put it online, and no one would listen to it. Yeah. Oh. Um, but yeah, so I guess. Uh, da, 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 da. Please enough about me in what? general. Oh. Yeah, getting all in on you. Yeah, making my head big. That's when I change. It'd be yeah. after this podcast that I, I become a turn. Yeah. yeah. What like from a so speaking about Keelan not posting mm. much. Mm. Um, there are some parkour athletes who have definitely pursued sort of, you know. Oh, being she a, knows them. Well, being them. more commercial. I'm like friends Dom. with them. Dom? Yeah. You know Dom? My old mate Dom. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I always say about your old mate Dom. Your old mate Dom? Yeah. Have I met Dom? Dom? I don't know, maybe. He's coming to England in May. I'm yeah. sure. Who did he said I, he's going to come here. I'm sure I've met Maybe him. you have met Dom then, yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Big Do you know strapping about Australian Dom? lad. Yeah, I'm yeah. Sure he probably flirted with you. Yeah. Like, he's, he's a. Yeah. yeah. You always sound like Dom. I mean, you know, obviously the star is a big as well. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. Travis is doing pretty well right now. Yeah. As well. I know, I know Your good friend's Travis. Yeah, Travis comes over quite a lot. I know quite a few of them. Yeah. Travis um, always loves it when he comes over. Yeah. Can't wait. He's like, oh, I can't wait for Claire's cooking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even joking. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, I do. I know a few of them and Keelan made me follow a load of them on Instagram. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> you said, oh, you got to follow that uh, one. But so from like a, a sort of, basically, Keelan doesn't post much. He's mm. not, crazy fussed on like you know putting himself out there as an athlete and yeah. that might change and whatever and, and, and from sure. my perspective as like you know mm. sort of owner of my us and like oh keenan you should do this because this mm. will help you slash the brand it's or definitely whatever. a benefit to post for sure yeah it's a bit like and it's, and it's not and it's not even about like the like humbleness or anything about like not showing it it's more that i can't deal with the like i get very obsessed with posting yeah that's, that's yeah. the thing that i like need to control because it's like don't want to think about that all the time because mm. there have been time i mean let's take for example we've just released new clothing so i'm like hey mm. Keenan, do you want to post some stuff because it helps mm. but from your perspective as like a parent who is like as we were saying earlier there was potential commercial success from a dancing perspective mm. are you like Oh, Keelan, like I can see Dom with 2 million followers. Like, oh, she is like that. <laughs> because the other night I was saying about like, oh, yeah, uh, I said something about Instagram. And you're like, mm. you're not deleting it though, are you? <laughs> you can't delete your account. <laughs> Post some clips. Yeah. I think- I Well, think... You, used to, you used to manage my like jobs and stuff for Parkour yeah, for a while. So yeah, I did. You, you had, understand it, I yeah, think. Yeah, I mean, you, at one point you were getting quite a few jobs and things and you mm. did a super dry job, didn't yeah. you? Yeah, well, you were just very good when I was too young to know yeah. about pricing and things. You were like, yeah. What was the job you turned up to and you were really oh hungover? Oh my God, well, that was her part. That. that was your party. Yeah, yeah. yeah. my party, Your Keelan. party. My party. And, and, sorry, yeah, like, your party. Keelan's we parents all got so are drunk. wicked. So they love a party. I threw up out of my bedroom window. They were all still down at the party. Up, which is just down the like road <laughs> and they all came back i was back with like my brother's friends and things on my own and i was just so drunk i, I yeah anyway and and you I, had a you had a parkour job the next i day. had a parkour job that i had to get up at five the next day that's that some... for adidas yeah, yeah. It, was the adidas thing. Oh. it was like one of the bigger Sorry, jobs adidas. it was one the of the bigger jobs they, cu they cut my pay because of it but like and you were always, ta you told dad, didn't you, to yeah. book me a cab or something Yeah, the and morning. then dad was still up. He'd done a, pulled the, an all-nighter. He pulled wow. an all-nighter and he came into my room after I'd been sick closed and it was the morning. And he was like, you're not going to do the job, are you? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you're, you're not, you're not going to go. And I was like, yeah. You're not going to go and work uh, for Adidas. Yeah, I was like, I was he like, was still drunk. I, I was know. just like, what the hell? But obviously, because I, I was messed up, I was just like, yeah, no, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> And then you got angry and was like, no, no, no. Like, well, the thing is, I actually went to, it was my birthday. It was yeah. my 50th 
It was yes. awesome though. I it was am so good. Your thirty eighth, you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah my thirty eighth. Yeah. yeah. Um, so anyway, yeah, I I kind of wanted to remember it, so I didn't go hard. Mm. But the actual party, but did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the actual party ended at midnight because we had a hall. But the after party was insane. So you yeah, didn't go hard at the party, but you went hard no, at the after party. No, that's how it always happens. No, yeah. You I, always end up doing something like that, and then you bring everyone back to the house, and then it's a party. Everyone came back to the house, and the after yeah. party didn't finish till 8 a.m. Mm. And there were very, very, very drunk people. I got back and found vomit by the back door and couldn't work out where it had come from. Probably someone's my room, mouth. My no, room is it like transpires above the back that door. Keelan had thrown up uh, out the window and it I landed I did by message you or dad saying like, I'm too unwell to clean it up. Can someone help? And you guys were partying. Imagine so if somebody was like out the back door having a cigarette <laughs> or something. And they like, just got on top of them. Yeah. My, the, the embarrassing thing, all my brother's friends said they could hear me being sick out the window. Amazing. They were playing on like the Wii downstairs. <laughs> it's raining. So bad. <laughs> because I didn't want to go downstairs past them while I was, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, that was, I was slightly annoyed because it was a really good job that Keelan got and mm. it could have led to other things, mm. possibly. Um, and it was a big brand, Adidas, obviously. Yeah. I and haven't it, heard of them, to be honest. No, I no. mean, yeah, you know, some people have. I know, that's yeah. probably why I've Not never got really any jobs Not really a trailblazer in the, no. you know. But anyway, mm. so yeah, um, I, I sort of said to my husband, oh, he's got to, you know, he's got to get up. And bearing in mind, it was my party, so there was mm. no reason for him to be completely off his face. Yeah. But um, <laughs> Young. But I went to bed and it was only when I got up later that I discovered A, that my husband hadn't been to bed and B, that he hadn't gone to the job until... And then I made you, didn't I? You did, you got um, some I, sort of cab, I think a cab. Did I put a cab or something? I can't no, no, remember. it wasn't. It was a cab to the station on my own. And then I just train, remember getting like I a was message. Hanging, I, was so, I was hanging so bad. Yeah. I, yeah. I went into London Bridge, I went into the toilet and I was sitting by the toilet for ages in London Bridge trying to be sick because I was like... Oh. <laughs> didn't know and that. Then, yeah, and then I went to the job and I, I was the person doing the flips. There was a moment where I did a round off full and landed and fell off the stage, but like, but on my feet. So like, I just like kind of did that and landed on the, off the stage oh, and got Keelan. back up. Wait, was I, this a show in front of people? Yeah, so it was, Adidas were doing like, um, it was one of those events where they show their like new products to like the, it was oh, into that's... sports. Is it into sports? Yeah, thing? the store. Yeah, yeah, so that was Adidas's stall bit uh, and they were showing, okay. it was like a performance. Like, and they had dancers and all these things. It was so embarrassing. This is so embarrassing. this is exactly how to act if you get a commercial park order. Yeah. Just <laughs> copy and paste. I don't think I was cut out for like wow. advertisement jobs. But yeah, so <laughs> like really. from a because it's tough because I mean, <laughs> as we talk about all the time, the industry within park mm. is hard. Um, yeah. There are athletes who it's it's the I mean, we talk about it so much off air on everything, but mm. like it's the kind of trade between do you because it's not selling your soul mm. to like you know post on instagram regularly but it's also like mm. it's it's forcing something that it's taking your passion and diluting it mm. and like where's your sort of mindset i mean now he's you know uh, he works for motors and he's only yeah. fucking you know 100 grand a month so it's pretty Lot, chill big bucks yeah big bucks here but yeah like what's I, it, I, I guess just from a parenting perspective, do you do you always look I, like? Am I always going to look at Daisy and be like, if she did this, she could be here? Do you think I'm on the right path? I think you're on a path. Yeah, it's like it's because um, it's like you ask yourself, like mm. I'm on the right path, like, and then in hindsight, you're like, if I did this, I'd be there. If yeah. I, you know, mm. done that, but suddenly it's like now you have this other person who it's like, where could mm. they be if yeah. they? Because I mean. Let's take the obvious one. It's like, oh, if you applied yourself in your exams mm. at school, you could get to this university. Yeah. And then once they've messed up their exams, you're like, well, that's off the cards now. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. Mm. I don't know. I mean, I still really think you should be dancing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> right. So <laughs> the Go words out of my mouth. Yeah. Um, I do think. I've said to Keelan before, because Keelan didn't go to uni, that wasn't something he wanted to do. Mm. You know, he didn't. But you and dad have said that, like... I, we're kind of treating this, yeah. your early sort of adult years, as you're finding your way. Mm. You're not sure exactly where you're going, but you're having that... If he'd gone to uni, I don't know what age you finished uni, probably... Yeah. He went to uni, and look at him, he's behind a cab... <laughs> He went to uni to do sports he's design and now he, sit, he sits behind a camera pressing buttons. But I just think, you know, you've got to... 
Oh, but sorry, Vloggy, I love you. Yeah. I love you. <laughs> but he's, he's, he's going to go somewhere. He's very No, but also he's slaying it when yeah. it's not. I know, you know you've I seen know. the stuff I've he's seen made. His yeah. He presses he, buttons yeah. for one hour a week yeah. and all the other times he kills it. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, over an hour now, sorry. Yeah. Oh, okay. shit. All right. <laughs> sorry, listeners. Um, but, you know, I, I mean, I, I feel like if you can't find your way during your younger years, well, it's when the only are you time. Yeah, the it's the only time you. Well, because you're going to end up tied down with commitments mm. or yeah. houses or whatever you you're going to have you mm. know rent and so it's it you need to have that time and not everyone gets the luxury of having that and we're in a much better position yeah. than let's say when you were a kid or yeah, whatever it's like now we choices. have yeah now we have the opportunity and yeah like you said yes you hear these stories yeah. of like uh, what's the famous one like colonel sanders didn't mm. start kfc until he was yeah. like 68 yeah. and you get these like you know things like that yeah. mm -hmm. but realistically for the absolute majority mm. you either find your shit when you're like in your teens and early 20s mm. and make your life out of that or you don't mm. Mm -hmm. so I mean, it's exactly. yeah. it is i mean i do Pressure. worry i think i worry i think keelan i'm really proud of everything he's done so far um <laughs> And I, ju I think the biggest thing is just for you to be happy and obviously to earn enough. I don't, I don't have these aspirations. Oh, you've got to earn huge amounts of money. Because, he will. Yeah. Trust me. You better. His brand's going somewhere. We'll make it happen. But the thing is, I, I, I just want him to have enough money that he can afford to live, obviously, mm. which is getting harder by the minute, it seems. But yeah. yeah, 82 pounds it took to fill up my car today. <sighs> I know. Really? 82 pounds. It's just, it just keeps going up. I and know. The, the fuel number doesn't go that high. Mm. You're like, one litre? Yeah. Two, it's yeah. like 10 I know. pounds. I know. Like. So um, basically, I'd rather he earn enough to live on and was extremely happy in a role than he actually, you know, because you have these people earning shitloads of money and they're not actually happy mm. and they're going to yeah. get all this stress. And mm. then they're going to end up off work because they're stressed. And mm. I think you've got to, and there's no hard and fast. I mean, I've had a career change at, at 50. Yeah. You can do you it. Have. You can. It's awesome. It doesn't have to be mm. that, you know, you're on that journey forever anyway. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, of course I worry about how he's going to be. But you'll never not. No, yeah. exactly. And because even if he was earning a million pounds mm. a year, you'd still worry that, oh, he earned loads of money yeah. now. What's he going to do with the money? The heroin's yeah, probably drugs. really, like, I mean, that, that buys some good <laughs> fucking drugs. Big old, big old druggy. Yeah. yeah. I mean, what I would say is, you know, of all his friends, the parkour, parkour community that I have met are such a lovely bunch of people mm. that that gives me comfort knowing yeah. that you all look out for each other. It's a really lovely yeah, it really feel is. to it. And... So you've kind of got that extended family, which mm. I think is really lovely. Um, and yeah, hopefully, I mean, I do know that he's good at what he does. I do read some of the comments. Don't really understand. If you see one with a blue tick next to it, then that's obviously good. Yeah, yeah. So you I, get that yeah, occasionally. Yeah. Yeah. Verified people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 of course. Um, but yeah, I mean, I just, I'm I'm happy with where you are. And, and I mean, I've said this to you before, Giles, you know, you were the one that kind of started the ball rolling with Keelan, I think. Yeah, that's yeah. true, actually. Loads of people call me a paedophile. Yeah. Right. Well, I was going to yeah, say. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> Don't it's... say that. <laughs> that was a joke. No, most, most of my messages from you normally you are know. like, they're like, can you... you know. uh you know. Don't know. No. He's going to cut that out. He has had that, He's though. Gonna I'm not going to cut it out. I'm not going to cut it out. It happens all the time. <laughs> Like, let's just scroll through. Uh, here we go. So my last message from you. Hi, Giles. Sorry to bother you. I can't get hold of Keelan. <laughs> just no checking way. in. That's standard. It's That's standard. I swear standard. I'm not meant to have a phone. I hi, hi, Giles. I know it's Sarah's birthday. Happy birthday, Sarah. <laughs> have, have you heard from Keelan and the gang? I can't get hold of him. Yeah. Don't uh, worry. It's the same for Giles. Oh, it's the same for It's a nightmare. Else. I think that's one of my biggest worries is not being able to get a hold mm. of you. I just don't get on with this. And I don't get on with this thing. I know. I don't I know. know. Oh, this, is, this is you organising Keelan's birthday video that oh, we did. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was really nice. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, no, you are terrible at communication. I know, I know. And I don't think you get how worrying <laughs> it's literally it is. literally like... Yeah, I know. Is it just... <laughs> Hi, Giles. Can you ask Keelan what time he's planning to come home? <laughs> like, 
it's never like <laughs> it's just that every time yeah yeah pretty much i don't know how you dealt with that because i was going off still to going like, on Keith. yeah yeah you asking is. me about headphones uh hi giles i understand when keelan left his headphones in oh, the yeah, uber that's the other thing yeah. keelan yeah. losing hi stuff. giles is keelan still at yours sorry for late text just wasn't sure if he's coming home and like every time it's like yeah he's here he's fine yeah i know yeah. <laughs> but why do i have to go through giles i don't know i just like i'm i put this somewhere and it's I the same with me like, i message him yeah. and i'm like keelan like this is important and yeah. it's three hours later it's so frustrating sorry it's, you know i know that's fine. the problem <laughs> but in some ways it, the other option is you get this i know i know no, but i can no, be just like glued, glued I can be to on his my phone. phone a lot yeah. so it's like yeah it's one way or the other but also you care so it, yeah, yeah, yeah no, that's good but i don't want to be this like overbearing mum that's like constantly but there are certain like if i'm cooking dinner i do need to know if, if i'm the same though because yeah. like there's been times right where he's told me he's leaving yours <laughs> yeah and me and sarah are like all right we're gonna cook keelan's vegan we're gonna do a separate vegan portion <laughs> oh, and then you God. get three hours of radio silence yeah, yeah. and we're like are we cooking for him or yeah what? i'm slow so, i'm very slow but we love our slow mornings don't we we do we yeah do. we do we have our slow mornings we, we get a cup of tea you make yeah. me a cup of tea yeah. we sit down on the sofa have one tomorrow we are yeah. I, well, I can't wait for that it's, it's, <laughs> it's literally hours well not hours it is it's hours it's, of sitting on the sofa yeah, we with just, goalless we, we just we <clears throat> congregate with tea don't we and yeah. we um we don't have phones do we no no so there's all of us, yeah, all just four of us, sofa, just yeah. sitting on the and just catching up, and it's really nice. See, that's oh, I love fucking that. yeah. great. Yeah, because I never what it had should that. Be. Yeah. I have yeah. that now with my parents, yeah. like a bit more, but not when I was younger. No, love mm. it. Love but it's it. good because it wasn't. No one just, actually just gonna do that and just put. That. Oh yeah, put that. Put you just it. come on. You have to get in. You have to get <laughs> in. <Hell. laughs> yeah. No, it, it's great because that sort of stuff wasn't. Yeah. like No one actually initiated that. It was just kind of natural that we're all just like, yeah, we need to just do that more often. It's just really nice, and it's nice to just put the phones down not be scroll because it's rude if you're scrolling and you're kind of like yeah you're not focusing no, I think on so too and we all get caught in it i catch you and dad in it a lot yeah. and, I'm, and myself yeah. and oh, i'm like it's something me and sarah keep catching ourselves on because mm. daisy will be it's just like we'll be, we'll be playing with her and things will be great yeah. and then she'll start to like entertain herself and be playing with one of her toys and she's now that she can sit up she's quite proficient at like she can entertain herself for five minutes mm. And your phone's there and you <laughs> you just kind of like, you're like, oh, Keelan's messaging me. Let me just, he's asking like yeah. what's going on or whatever. Yeah. And, I'll just, and then you're like, and then you're like, oh, Instagram. And you're like, oh my God, like I'm a fucking terrible dad. Like, yeah. And you're like, is that affecting her subconsciously? Mm. And your brain goes mad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, uh, but then you're like, well, back in the day, they probably all were in their newspapers. That's, that, and their yeah. Books. Yeah. That's the inspiring so. thing. Whenever I speak to you and dad about like, when you were growing up and there wasn't phone well there was phones but there wasn't back like in the dark, back ages. in the dark ages but there wasn't mobile phones and it was i mean i'm saying this as if i'm on time i'm always not on time but <laughs> you guys would be like you'd plan to be somewhere at a mm. certain time and because there was no phones to be like i'm running late mm. yeah it was just like you had to meet up even if you couldn't actually stay you'd have to meet up and say look i can't mm. yeah, yeah, yeah you go i kind of miss i say miss that it's i wish mental, that was now it? yeah like you're meeting someone you're like oh i'll meet you by the post box at 11 o'clock yeah because mm -hmm. you're with them and you have to tell them that yeah. and then you have to stick to it yeah it's, it's crazy. Yeah, it is pretty crazy um we're obviously over an hour but is there anything mm -hmm. else parkour yeah no definitely what have you I got have, well i kind of need a wee quite badly I, i've fight. been holding in one for ages you go for a wee i'll go all after right. you do you need a wee no i'm all right thanks because we've been drinking <laughs> mm -hmm. so he spoke about these are my notes we spoke about crane climbs and stuff and rooftop parkour mm -hmm. um i want to know how aware you were of the parkour community but we kind of spoke about that a yeah. bit and i also wrote down the woman writing to you in the newspaper because i remember that too but um i still remember her name mrs whitehouse you are out really there. Mm. Oh, god yeah yeah i remember that that was so horrible oh. um but i want to know about I guess this is more a specific story, but when, do you remember I got in trouble at school for, um, this was kind of parkour related, but I like hung off a staircase <laughs> in school. It was like during lessons. Yeah. And um, we were told to go and like get someone from another class. So like me and my friends left the class and on the way to another classroom, I would like hang off, hung off a stairs for a joke because I did parkour and I knocked that like bit of ceiling yeah. from underneath yeah. and it fell and landed on someone. Not, it didn't hurt them properly, but it hit them. Yeah. And then I hid that because I was scared. And then I got 
I got in trouble for it. And yeah. then you got brought in. Do you yeah. remember? You yeah, got brought in and then the, that, t- yeah. the teachers. Are we talking about you getting in trouble at yeah, school? Yeah, I was mm. I was quite cross about that really because that was... Well, that was a stupid act. That wasn't that wasn't but, parkour, but it was yeah. because I did parkour. Yeah. And you Same did, when I hung off the staircase. Break, and I broke uh, the ceiling yeah. And then, yeah, you did break the property and, and you had to pay for it, didn't you? Weirdly as well, because yeah. dad... I'm, I swear dad offered because offered, he's a carpenter. It, it was yeah, one wooden they, panel. Wait, yeah. you, had, you had to pay for it? or like, Yeah, cause surely we had to pay for it. Mm. Yeah, cause It was just one wooden panel. How, how my dad was like, yeah, we yeah, can I fix had it. To pay for yeah, because it's that thing. When <laughs> yeah, you're a kid, yeah, it's like, you yeah, have to pay for that, which yeah. means your mum has yeah, to pay for exactly. that. Right. But um, the weird thing again with that, going back to your school, mm. they said that someone else doing it would have been oh well they said they, they wanted or, to expel me yeah expel you so they actually get yeah. me out of the school but, but because but because for, for hanging up well, it was for terrible for, for, for a kid like in a, on cctv it was during lesson and i was told to get someone else out of their classroom for something yeah and i was with my friends and on the cctv i go past like a stairwell that's like this and i go to the top and i'm like oh watch this and i hang off the top like ah, yeah and i kicked the ceiling underneath and bits of it fell like a big wooden panel onto some other students walking. And then they probably saw me go underneath. Did it hurt them? No, they said they were all right, but they were a bit shocked. God, and I was like, you, and then I grabbed the piece and hid it under the stairs. Cause I was like, this is horrible. I yeah. can't like, mm. and then they obviously, yeah, they found the CCTV footage. But, but it, it was like it a look random malicious? Student. No, it didn't, but it was more just like it's the vandal, act of breaking vandalism. something yeah. and hanging yeah. off things. And, the thing is... The and funny also th- my school was like, there was some bad people in my school. Yeah, doing stuff. the funny thing was, though, you talking about that story, is yeah. when, at the time, you told us it was a really thin bit of wood. <laughs> yes. So you've actually told the truth about yeah, it. Yeah, it was quite a big... It, well, it was like a panel. Yeah, it was you like didn't panel. say that, Keenan. It was a panel. <laughs> you <laughs> but it came that. off quite cleanly. It wasn't broken. So it just caught off. out years later. Yeah, and again, I remember you going, well, you know, obviously it wasn't fixed very well. You said when mm. we were in, but I booted it. Yeah. <laughs> Again, I mean, lucky for Keelan, the school just were so. Mm. Oh, that was they lucky. was they were great, but again, he was all the teachers loved him, mm. and he had quite a lot of, and it's not fame exactly, but because of his TV stuff, yeah, mm. they'd all seen it. They all knew about him. He he'd had a lot of stuff in the newspapers. I'm gonna have to wait. So I reckon it's weird. Like, oh bloody hell like i reckon keelan was probably in the last generation of kids who probably care as much about tv mm. because now i reckon i mean obviously tv still has its place and yeah. like let's say you're on like a big show that's still yeah i don't know dragon's den or something that yeah, people yeah. tune in for yeah it's far more impressive to go like oh i've got a million views on instagram yeah, yeah. or like tiktok or whatever yeah exactly but back yeah. then it was like it was. if you had yeah. i remember there was a girl at my school who went on tv because mm. she was the tallest girl <laughs> for her age mm. she was ginger as well and she was a ju- <laughs> she was monstrously tall wow. and she went on tv and had like an episode of this show about her and but just because of that like she was already it was like wow you're tall yeah but it was like you've been on fucking yeah. tv yeah and yeah. that was a big deal yeah like, i know i mean Keelan had that whole thing, um, you know, about the thing with diversity that he yeah. had. So that was quite big, a big deal as well. Yeah, so yeah, that yeah. was that was shown on Sky One yeah. as well as um, normal TV. So yeah, he TV had all, for poor people. Yeah, yeah, I didn't have Sky. <laughs> and then obviously he he kind of he knew quite a lot of famous people as well in the dance sort of area. He obviously met Ashley Banjo and all that kind of, Davina McCall and all that, you know. She goes, she lives near here. She is, she's quite local, isn't she? I have a funny Davina McCall story. So her kids go to my old school. Really? And there was like a summer, well, maybe like, I don't know, like a fair thing Mm. that was happening there. And my mum said she was going to go to it and Sarah had not seen my old school before and mm. I went to this very strange it's like an in, in, in this old Victorian building so mm. it's, a, it's a cool place to go and yeah. walk around so I take Sarah and we're walking around and we see my mum and she's talking to someone and uh, I well, I'm kidding. <laughs> I I walk up and I'm like oh you're right mum and she goes oh this is my son Giles and then introduces this person to me as if like this person who she's introducing knows who I am contextually <laughs> and things and it's Davina McCall and she just goes like you're right <laughs> and I was like you're right like <laughs> well you see you, you know what Davina. my mum yeah you know what my mum's like she yeah. just introduced me uh, well she introduced Davina McCall to me as if Davina McCall was you know Claire <laughs> and they'd known each other for months 
And Davina just stood there having fuck all idea. And she like, and it was me, Sarah, my mom. And she was just like, why am I in this? What is going on? And when it was, was this? A couple of years ago. She, her, her kids go to my old school. Really? Yeah. yeah she's and, quite local. Oh, and then she walked about a meter away. And my mom went, she's just had a divorce. And I was like, she can fucking hear. Oh, no. It's terrible. Yeah. Terrible. It was great. Was that because you said... I just said we met her when yeah. you did Got to Dance. Yeah. Yeah. She's, She's really close. tiny. My mum would probably go, Ke- you've met Keelan. <laughs> you remember him? And she'd be like, no, I meet no. a billion people yeah. a day. Like... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh. My mum won't watch this, but I love my mum. But mm. yeah, she's she the the best way that it was ever described by uh, someone I know, granddad, he said, your mum will say stuff to you within six minutes of talking to you that the average person wouldn't say unless they'd known you for six months. Mm. <laughs> like she met one of my old school friends once and he had long hair. That was it. He just like, you know how bloggy when he first turned up at the workshop and he was yeah, long hair. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She literally, she just went, do men find you attractive? Oh. The first thing she said. Yeah, your, I was like, your mum asks very weird questions. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, I don't yeah, know whether yeah. I want to meet her. No, no, she's great. No, she's, she's great. She's great, but that, like, it makes it so yeah, much more fun. Yeah. yeah, She's not got the kind the of... Filter. Filter, There's yeah. no filter. There's no really? filter. Yeah. In a, but in a naively positive yeah. way. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. she'd offend you and have no idea she's done it. And oh, there's no great. malicious... There's no maliciousness. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, terrible. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, we're meant to be talking about parkour and what it's like to yeah. be a mum, mm-hmm. but I feel like we're just going all over the place. We are. Mm-hmm. What? 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 Uh, what? What are your thoughts about parkour now? Like, wh- you've obviously seen it from the last what? How long have you done parkour now? Like twelve, fifteen? Um, I started around uh, ten, eleven, mm. and I'm how old? <laughs> Twenty two. <laughs> yeah, so maybe twelve years. So like, you've obviously seen it develop from like my son's just doing kind of a weird hobby that's got a little bit of potential yeah. into something that has some viable commercial success also a lot of like uncertainty around it what mm. are your thoughts regarding parkour as a whole from what you've seen as a parent i do you find it impressive i do Stupid? i do i do i mean Reckless. <laughs> yeah. obviously i don't the high up stuff i'm not a fan of because mm. yeah i wouldn't want you to do what you don't anyway but <laughs> Well, you, what? What? We need to talk. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I think I can appreciate flow because mm. Keelan will show me stuff and go, oh, look at this. And we're, can, we're gonna hold a motor's competition and Claire's gonna be the flow judge. Yeah, I think definitely. I should be, yeah. I think I should. Should be yeah. Mm. Um, yeah, I can appreciate flow and technique because Keelan's taught me quite a lot about it. Yeah. And I feel like I do know quite a lot about it now. Um, mm. I think I could do it, really. Really? <laughs> yeah. We are, sorry, we sorry. Are looking for another yeah. athlete. I know. So. I mean, there is a space for me here. I feel. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I reckon so. Uh, you did clean the microwave very well once as well. I so know, you did. You'd yeah, be a multi. Um, I've earned my start. You'd be a multi-talented came, person. Yeah. I first time like you came, you cleaned up everything. I yeah. did. Yeah. I did. So there is space it was a for fucking me. Tip. <laughs> <I> just, <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean. I do feel like I know a lot more about it. Keelan has educated me. And I do feel mm. like from going from that, just what the hell is it and why are they doing that? I understand it a lot more. Yeah. And mm. I, I've read articles and I've watched things and we've talked about stuff, haven't we? So yeah, for I sure. feel like I do. But then I've always got these people going, you know, as I said before, why do you let him do that? Or why don't mm-hmm. you worry? Don't aren't you scared i get that a million times yeah yeah what's it i mean other i guess the i guess keelan's now old enough that you don't meet new parents through him but through josh i guess josh is even older now but like when josh was a bit younger and you'd be like school parents is that the type of questions you get yeah and i think people at the back of their minds they're thinking i'm irresponsible yeah and i'm sure that's been at the back of the mind of a lot Mm -hmm. of people but you know, as you've said, he would have gone and done it anyway. I and feel actually, sorry for those parents, to be honest, because yeah. if they have that mindset, then their kids are probably doing worse things. Yeah. And Maybe, the, I don't know. And the trouble is, like we've said before, they don't know the background involved in what yeah. you've prepped to do mm. these things. They've just seen the finished product. But it's also, yeah. it's so much like treating Keelan or any any kid as a, a non... Um, like autonomous individual mm. it's just like yeah 
oh, you control this thing. Why yeah. have you stopped that happening? Yeah, mm. like he's got no free will of his own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's like, well, yeah. he he is a sort of, mm. uh, even if he was 15 or 16, it's mm. like, well, he has expressed that he wants to do this. Yeah. It's just interesting that you've never seen like a a training session, really. Well, I don't, you probably have, but like not, because we go out and we train yeah. together. Yeah. And and we say train, but that's like, that's kind of the end goal of it anyway. Yeah. Like how I'd go to methods and mm. as in the, the break dancing thing mm. I used to go to and we'd train, mm. but it it wasn't really for anything unless something came up and yeah. we'd, we'd rehearse mm. something. Yeah. But it would just be for the sake of it because it's fun. Mm. But you haven't seen like a, what a whole day kind of entails within. Yeah, because I guess if you thought about it in a, re if you use the word rehearsal, mm. yeah, it's like 80% rehearsal and then these little sections of mm. like the completion so you'll rehearse you'll come up with yeah. a flowy line and yeah. you'll rehearse that and then you will yeah execute it and you'd you'd fully do that with breaking as well yeah like we'd have you wouldn't call it a line but you'd call it a set so like if you're battling someone and you have like certain sets in your mind that you know you can do which are just sets of moves that go together yeah. and you do that because mm. you practice them but it's what I'd relate it to is that if you're training as a break dancer and then something comes up like a job or a show, it's the same as when you're training as a parkour athlete. Mm. And then you go, I think we should all make a video. And you go out with the intention of making a video. When do you add the bravado of break dancing? When like, you add the what? You know, you know when you finish a break dancing set and mm. you kind of do all the like, whoa, to mm. your opponent. Yeah. Do you practice that or is no, that that's purely not, in the moment? No, not at all. So like, I, I, I don't really think that's, cool now but i think definitely back in the day when you're younger you're like that's awesome but uh, what i was gonna say is can we start doing that at the end yeah, of at the end of parkour <laughs> at the end of parkour lives, you do that you're like whoa whoa you just like look the like cross a, arm yeah, pose. Just yeah. Look a bit arrogant if you do that but um i think breaking has definitely like evolved so much since then yeah. mm. like just like how we see parkour evolve and we see you know not just moves uh get invented but the way people move and mm like there's things in parkour like people create lines that not necessarily are crazy difficult but just the way they move mm. are so is so nice yeah. and not you haven't seen it before yeah it's the same within break dancing that's happening now like yeah. it used to be there was a big rise within power and people would do yeah. crazy power moves and yeah. everyone was like wow and that gets boring after a while so people start becoming more creative yeah which is i just see so many parallels between parkour yeah. and breaking i think there are a lot of similarities yeah really. and i still love this i was meant to say this earlier i still love breaking so much and mm. i'll watch it a I lot know, yeah. but it it I don't know as many people within breaking mm. to have that connection. Whereas within yeah. parkour, it was so easy to like generate, not generate, but like just be, be a part of like a family. Community yeah. I guess also because breaking relies on sort of a venue, not like a venue because you can obviously do it on the street, but it's not it's, like you could. To, to meet people, it would need to be a, you can get jams yeah, so they won't jams. have comps yeah and if they were comps they'd be very laid back mm. but there'd be like it's a not cipher. like you go to croydon and on the street corner yeah, you be wouldn't, breaking, yeah. whereas parkour it's like you go out and train mm. so you end up going to loads of different spots so that's yeah. the different the difference yeah. there but um i think that's probably what drew, drew me away from breaking a bit because i was meeting just so many good people through parkour yeah true and i was like the, you know they're very much similar to me so i like this yeah mm. what advice would you give to a parkour parent that's a good question that is maybe hesitant or has some reservations and let's let's say the kid is you know an impressionable age yeah. or, well, a, 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 an age that the parent would have concerns because yeah. i think once they reach the 20s if the parents yeah. are still a bit enforceful it's it's not too late but yeah but you can't yeah like you know 12 to 12 to 15 is like well i mean i would say first of all learn about parkour yourself because until you get an understanding of what it is you're not going to understand what they're trying to do and you're going to have all these fears that may be unfounded yeah mm -hmm. but also with keelan you know he went to a gym that's obviously where you two met yeah um and maybe sort of get get someone involved that knows what they're doing mm. that you trust because i was lucky i had you mm to look after Keelan and guide him. And yeah. you still are really, you know. Mm. Um, but I think fundamentally you do need to, because like myself, I didn't know what it was. I just had an image of what I thought it was. And like I say, you don't know the amount of training and, you know, 
everyone that doesn't understand parkour is going to go, oh, yeah, it's just jumping on roofs and being really stupid and being dangerous. But, you know, that is completely wrong. But most people think that. Yeah. Unless they know, you know, obviously know someone that does it and have, have looked into it. So I think educate yourself 100%. And then maybe if your child, you know, if there is somewhere local that they can learn safely, mm with someone that's professional i mean you know there are places that are popping yeah. up all the time aren't there so helpful yeah. i think in america especially like if as much as yeah you sort of some people hate on the gym culture of like mm. oh you don't want your kid just being stuck in a gym no. knowing that you have one the sort of reliable coaches mm. and the environment that is somewhat not necessarily safe but it's like mm. controlled mm. Mm. and also in that space you like let's say a new parent goes in and they could meet a parent of a kid who has been doing parkour for a year yeah immediately that parent can say here's how to alleviate those worries yeah mm. like yeah. here's how to do that which i guess yeah. exists in let's say uh even gymnastics or something yeah. like yeah. it's it, it exactly. just we don't have that as much in parkour so mm. that it's newer i yeah. think yeah i mean it's a shame because there are obviously the other extreme sports you know skateboarding bmxing that kind of thing and parkour just isn't there yet in the terms of exception people yeah, accepting yeah. it but it will be I it. and also it's it's massively improved yeah exactly massively. when you think you know it's been recognized as a sport yeah, yeah yeah so i think you know i think education is key you've got to know more about it I mean, anything your child gets into, you should find out as much as you can about it. Yeah. And not just rely on people going, oh, yeah, that's dangerous, that's that. Look into it properly. Speak to someone that knows. You know, don't just Google it and look at people jumping off roofs because there's mm. so many other elements that you need to explore. Definitely. But obviously, yeah, the gym is a good setting maybe to learn certain things, but mm -hmm. you are going to have to go out. You know, yeah. the whole point is to be outside. Mm. But there are places that train you outside as well, aren't there? Yeah, so, yeah. people you know. do classes outside. Yeah. Yeah. So, I think I think that's definitely important with yeah. classes because I I missed out on a lot of things. Yeah. Trying to learn through what I'd seen on YouTube mm. and, and all that. Like it wasn't until I met you that I knew that precisions and all that were actually quite quite hard, quite yeah, far. Yeah, like yeah, people yeah. jump quite far. And and also just yeah, landing really, properly. Like, I remembered like early conversations with you, and you were so flip focused. Yeah, yeah. so and, like, flip focused. Tr talking about I don't know someone like Kai or something, and I could <laughs> sort of almost hear your like not naivety, but you just like you'd be like, oh yeah, cool, but you didn't really get it. No, I didn't at all. And then yeah. and then as time went on, you were like, oh, I get it now. Like, yeah, because it t it takes time. But yeah. like because I've because I did a bit of coaching as well. Yeah, you and did. And it it definitely helps just when a kid wants to do it mm. as early as possible just like kind of planting the seed in their head that like you need to land like this or yeah. you need to do this yeah. Yeah, yeah so that's just out of the way because after a while that becomes natural for them yeah exactly so that when they grow up and learn new things they have that like safety Foundation, mechanism if that makes yeah. sense yeah, yeah. Like they know how it. they know how to land they know how to do this yeah, so then they can improve on their own with those yeah. skills which is, kind of took me a while to get i think really yeah i mean Everyone needs the Giles in their life, I think, really. Mm, fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, certainly for you, I felt you were in kind of safe hands with having someone that mm. knew what they were talking I, about. I know. do a lot of really hard drugs. I know. I know. <laughs> we'll get some more later. Yeah. <laughs> Part two of the podcast. Yeah. So it's, it's so sad that I don't. <laughs> <laughs> like I can it's joke. Not sad. I, well, no, not no. sad, but I can joke about that, and there's just absolutely no like kind yeah. of like. Oh, but actually, I do. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Very boring. Mm. Um, no. Something that you said really resonated with with me there, and with regards to like Daisy, as I sit here slurring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these these are quite. Yeah. I've had a few of these. But ones. it's it's the like the education, educating yourself in what your child is interested in. It's like because. I, I have no preconceptions or whatever the word is that like, I'm not gonna force Daisy to, you know, do parkour or mm. do gymnastics and things. Like I love the idea of when she's a bit older and she's a toddler and mm. I, I like travels a bit easier being like, oh, I've, I mean, Art of Motion's just been announced. I don't know if I fucking not, I don't know if I'm allowed to say it. <laughs> I'm, I'm going out to Art of Motion this summer. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, sorry if I've just ruined this. <laughs> 
I don't know. Apparently, I've been invited. I don't know what. I literally don't know what for. I pressured. Like I was like, "What am I doing?" And yeah. But anyway, I love the idea of bringing her out to events, and I love the idea of her growing up and seeing this community, and then getting into herself. Yeah. Things like that. But at the same time, if she wants to just absolutely have nothing to do with it, mm. and she wants to get into tap dancing, uh, yeah, tap dancing, yeah, <laughs> yeah, then it's like she is her own person. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I can't say no. Mm. Sorry, you're doing this, or like, oh, you, you're clearly intelligent. Go to Oxford. Mm. It's like if she wants to do this, the biggest responsibility I have is to educate myself to the point where I understand why she's so passionate about it. Yeah. And then try and help her move in that direction. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then if she a year later, sort of, or even four sessions later, decides she doesn't want to be a tap dancer after I've just spent fifty quid on tap dance shoes, then I just have to bite my tongue. You do. And you do. Bite, you bite your I tongue did. and fucking. Oh, you're yeah. Fire. yeah. <laughs> Literally, I can't believe it. Every time I think back, she bought me a brand new pair of tap shoes. I went to the fucking tap, the shop, and I put them on, and then I went to that session. You still have them? No, this. I mean, we're talking. I was probably like eight or nine. These two <laughs> kids were slaying it, and I was like sloppy, all like. <laughs> and I was like, I hate this, and I never <laughs> went back. But good. that, that good actually reminds me of um, you and ballet shoes, Keelan. Yeah. So there we what? go. When when you started college, I want to dance. Oh, I had to do ballet yeah. in college, didn't I? Oh, yeah. this was a circus school. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. atrocious. So spent money on ballet shoes. Yeah, um, yeah. like hard. I'm a college hard. dropout. I'm yeah. a classic. He's, he's, like, uh, yeah. you wait till Motus becomes like, you know, big boy, big, and I'm like, I'm a college dropout. I, yeah, yeah that focused did, on this. That that did disappoint me a bit that you didn't continue with that. I what ballet? Ballet. No, ballet. Not ballet. <laughs> College, you mean? Ballet boy. Yeah, but College. that was a weird time. Yeah, I mean, that was a very weird. Yeah, I time. know that there was a lot of stuff going mm. on. But I was, uh, Keelan was doing his circus stuff, and he was very good at it. Mm. And also the but drama. The problem is, he's a bit of a. Is it polymath? Polymath? He, he, Bloggy, you know yeah. these words. Yeah. What does that mean? Well, you're good at kind of everything you yeah. actually, if you bother to put yourself into something, you're good yeah. at okay. Bother, okay. <laughs> bother. Yeah. Bother. Bother. Into, polymath yeah. is more of a knowledge thing, yeah. but you can apply it to, yeah. to scale. He's a physical polymath. Mm. I actually I had an email from his college after he left from the drama or the dance department saying that he was so talented and is there any chance that he'd come That's back? so weird. I'm wow. such a bad student. I know. Well, <laughs> do you? No, I don't. No. <clears throat> but yeah, and that was quite sad because I thought, you know, he. It was such when you auditioned because you had to audition to get into that college, didn't you? Yeah. And it was such a amazing time when you got mm. chosen because they didn't no, just let awesome. anyone in. I was just so scared of spending. I was so happy that school was over, but then I had mm. to be in college. Mm. I yeah. just wanted that to be over as soon as possible. So I was like, oh, yeah. get into circus school. That'd be yeah. fun. But it, I mean, it was, I mean, it was a really great place to go. Well, yeah. part of it was. Apart from Hackney College. Yeah. yeah. Part of it was on, in Hackney, wasn't it? In yeah. The college. Hackney. Hackney. But not yeah. that there's anything wrong with Hackney, but uh, the actually you mm. liked the uh, Circus Arts Centre, didn't you, best? Because mm. it was yeah. where all the fun stuff was. But exactly. yeah. So that was another kind of thing that. It is actually so daunting mm. being a parent. Because mm. I, I, I honestly, I can think of a podcast I was listening to a, literally a couple of days ago where somebody accredited a huge amount of their se- success to the fact that their parents forced them mm. to commit to a certain path, even though they didn't want to. Yeah. Mm. And and they were like, I'm so glad. And it's like, fuck, what's the right thing to do? I know. Yeah. Do you I let know. your parent, your kid have free will or, or whatever? Mm. Well, I mean. There's no right answer. With regard to that, Keelan dropped out of college and I was upset, but actually you don't mind me saying to you Mm-mm. no okay so whatever you want um it was sort of a kind of mental health thing and also we had obviously the issue with nye yeah and that had a really big impact on you obviously mm. as it would do um and i actually thought you know what much as i want him to go to college and do really well his mental health's got to come before anything else of course, yeah exactly so i could have pushed him pushed him and forced him back in and but that wasn't the right thing to do. And mm. so, but yeah, I mean, it's, it was a hard time for you, wasn't it really? Yeah, it was really weird. Yeah. I'd never, yeah, I'd, I'd never, I'd never known someone close die. That's so mine. it was a bit, 
Oh, was it? <laughs> just, so just after just, a few beers. Just, just, I've that's, never that's, known someone. Yeah, oh, oh, that's because yeah. yours is empty. Um, I don't like. I I don't know how how long are we going, Bloggy? An hour and one forty-five. Wow, three on mine. But like, so we didn't dive into this properly, and I don't want to. I feel like we should try and end on a sort of somewhat more positive note. But like, <laughs> what was it like as a pet? I mean, no, I didn't die explicitly doing parkour, but mm. he was obviously mm. a parkour athlete yeah. who everyone knew and you'd met him. And, and yeah. how would we describe that to people who don't know what happened? Because I'm sure there's some people who don't. Well, uh, yeah, in the well, least. He, he, uh, he, he died mm. in a... Someone of, who I was in a par- parkour team with. Yeah, yeah. You and I had spent a lot of time with, and you'd mm, met. I'd met him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you're like a young boy of a sort of similar age, mm. died in an accident that was not parkour related, but like it. It, it, it was on a parkour trip. It was on a parkour so trip was, in a, in a friendship group that like Keelan could have been there quite I easily. Know. Like mm. it's very easy. Oh, sorry, it's very easy to be like, well, that I, I imagine you thought this like that could have yeah. been Keelan. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I mean, a hundred percent. Well, you were there I, when how the phone call and stuff. So. Yeah, yeah. I, how. <sighs> For me, it was really, really hard because I could picture, obviously, I have a a son similar age and it was shocking. And also there was this whole, we didn't know how it happened at first. Yeah. Didn't get all the details. And then when we got all the details, then there was all the, because I mean, Keelan, you had a reporter trying to get hold of you, didn't Mm. you? Everyone wants to know stuff. And then you've got all the friends your friends are like oh well he was a parkour but you know and there's all that oh it's and no one wants to know the real story Mm. they want to like blame it on parkour and you know okay he was doing something he shouldn't have been but it wasn't parkour i think Mm. still if you google like parkour death his his name comes up yeah it's it's linked and it made me sad as a parent because obviously for obvious reasons but also for the fact that it was tainting they were trying to taint parkour mm. with something that wasn't related to it. Mm. And I really felt for Debs because... Debs being nice, nice mum, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, I really felt for her because she was grieving and then there was all this shit flying around that wasn't true. Yeah. And it just made me angry because I felt like, you know, no one was telling the truth about what had happened. And, mm. yeah, I mean, it was just a terrible time really actually makes me feel quite emotional mm, yeah. <laughs> sorry <laughs> but um yeah i just feel like that was you know but yeah obviously you you worry about your child getting hurt w- whatever they're doing because as a parent that's natural yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. protective instinct mm. um but yeah i mean the whole knife thing was terribly hard mm. and i still think we sort of struggle with it to extent don't we yeah no, and then well, it's never going to go away, is no, it? Like, no, it's pretty mental and to happen. It was just all that bad publicity, and I think it was just around. I think it was just after that when they recognised parkour as an official sport. Yeah, it must have been. Similar. It was. It was similar yeah. time scale, and it was just like such a shame because they had to kind of muddle it all in, you know. And it was an accident. At the end of the day, it was a terrible accident. Could have, you know. It could have been anything. Mm. And yet they have to link it to, oh, yeah, but yeah. he was a parkour athlete, blah, mm. blah, blah. Yeah, it's strange because it's like, it's, there's one just being a parent of an extreme, ex- mm. extreme sports athlete. But let's say, you know, skateboarder dies in train related accident. Mm. They wouldn't. It would be skateboarder, yeah. like, it, you, know, it, you it couldn't would be, link the two very well. You couldn't no. link the two, but because parkour, and I guess because there was that, it was mm. around the same time as the kind of whole urbex train oh, surfing, the train mm-hmm. surfing stuff, thing. Yeah, and so you, you like for parents of sort of your generation mm. of parkour athletes, it's like you're dealing with the fact that one, you're already a parent of mm. a an unconventional sporting athlete, yeah. parkour, and then two, there's all this extra stuff on top. It's yeah. like it's there's just it's yeah, it's this weird because now I think. Even now, a few years later, it probably wouldn't have been. I think we were probably at the peak mm. of like that that moment of parkour being yeah. still quite uncertain mm. and still being, and, and then this the yeah, the peak of the the train surfing stuff. Yeah, mm. I mean, you, you, I got a lot of people saying to me, "Oh, you know, that's what Keelan does," you know, relating to Nye's death. And, yeah, 
and and it was just like no it's not and that isn't parkour and i had to keep explaining the amount of times mm. i'd explain it to people but that's not what happened it wasn't parkour it was an accident it was something unrelated to parkour and you'd be constantly saying that over and over again to people and they just didn't seem to mm. but i mean it's like media that you know you're not gonna you're yeah. only gonna get part of the truth aren't yeah, you? you're yeah, not gonna yeah, get yeah, the yeah. whole truth they thrive yeah. off of that stuff anyway and you yeah. know i just i really felt for deb's because i felt like you know it was all stacked against her yeah there's no there's no I mean, there's no winning when you've no. already lost a son. No, like it's, exactly. it's just you're just dealing with it. Exactly. Like, mm. And I mean, the 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 jam, the first jam we went to, the memorial jam, that just showed to me what a great community mm. there was. So many people came out yeah. from all over the world as well. And you know, it was really nice to meet the other mums and to kind of compare notes and you know how we were feeling, mm -hmm. because as a mother, you. I mean, your mum's probably the same, you know, you, you do feel slightly isolated because it is quite a niche thing. Mm. It's not really, you know, so I can't sort of chat to my friends about how it is to be a mother of someone who does parkour because they... They don't know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So to come together at that event was really, I mean, really lovely. Mm. And yeah it was nice for you to come to that actually yeah. for me as well yeah it really for you to was. meet the other mums and things but you know i think on a very positive note i wish people could see the community that's there because all this bad publicity and there's so much good about it mm. but i wonder how we i don't know how because it's weird because it's like if you share i don't know just a montage of mm. like a good parkour event mm. people are like oh well that that's fun people are cheering people oh, are happy. yeah yeah they want to it's see because the bad parkour stuff. doesn't look parkour doesn't look crazy when it yeah. all goes right the, and, yeah. all, and it's all the proper community yeah. stuff it doesn't look general media and and content thrives on like the what if and i know negativity. Mm. exactly so it's it yeah but what about the health benefits the fitness level i mean the fitness level of you guys yeah yeah oh trust me as well like we we've had those training sessions and at the end we're all like oh yeah. we need more of that because it's yeah. just so good yeah to get outside and to exercise in that way and there's not there's not enough coverage on how good it is for mm, you yeah. to have that kind of yeah you're out in the fresh air for a start so you're mm -hmm. you're getting all that nature and like natural endorphins mm. and you know all that sort of back to basics is so yeah. you know rather than being in a gym and you know mm -hmm. It, I don't know why there's not more of a positive spin on it. Because you know? the world doesn't work on positivity. I know. <laughs> it doesn't it's true. Sell. It's Honestly, so, it doesn't it's so sell. true. It doesn't no, sell. it doesn't. Yeah. yeah, but I just think it is We a shame. love to talk about the negative. It's yeah. so yeah. fucking weird. Like you said, it's the what if. So people yeah. Can. And it's, you know, all the, how lovely everyone looks after each other. They look after each other in different countries. They will stay, you know, host mm. people at other people's houses. It's it's wonderful. Yeah, that's... And, you know, honestly. I've met people like Kevin who came over. I'll never forget the Easter egg. Thank you, Kevin. Yeah, <laughs> Kevin Kevin brought loads of... Because uh, it was Easter, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, So that was yeah. a year ago. It was. No, it was probably it was before, a couple years no, ago now. No, it was before that because we was weren't that? vegan then. Oh, yeah. Oh. oh, 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 oh. <laughs> like two years ago, Back maybe? when you were savages. Yeah. yeah, no, it probably was pretty much a vegan. Yeah. And it was it basically... But he brought... <laughs> it was a beautiful egg filled with sweets it's like Absolutely swedish candy amazing. wasn't it yeah oh, wow. i love so, kevin he's so yeah. good but i mean all these people that i've met know, yeah. they're all such nice people mm -hmm. and it is just a great community yeah i think not enough is said about since, that since covid i feel like i haven't like experienced that for quite yeah. a while yeah, i'm craving it yeah mm. just the going to random people's houses and all them coming over here and yeah. you're getting really close with them and and they're just complete strangers, but they're part of parkour and everyone yeah. in parkour is just, yeah. Yeah. Such good people, so. Mm. How Which do you feel? I, yeah, no, what, I was going to say, <laughs> that's another thing, just like hosting people, isn't it? Well, I was going to say, how do you feel about the fact that Keelan has now sort of slowly flown the nest? I'm gutted. He's like, he's like <laughs> not flown in the sense that he's like flown around the world, but he's like, you know, flopped out of the nest and <laughs> not living it. He's, he's down the road. Yeah, he's, yeah. I, I'll be honest, it's been really hard. And I thought because he's been away a lot in the past, like when he went to America on the first tour. Yeah. And that was hard, but I knew he was coming back. Um, I've really struggled and I don't understand because a lot of parents say, oh, I can't wait for them to, yeah, to go, yeah. you know, and 
and for me it's not it's not like that i really miss him and mm. it's i go into his room and it's like a shell and i'm like <laughs> and it's just yeah it's just empty i just don't oh. I, yeah it, no, is, no. it is tough um I'm sad when i hear that i know and i just i mean he's coming home with me tonight so uh, yeah. i'm happy but um it is really difficult but we've always been so close mm. haven't we so yeah. it's not really I yeah no not going anywhere i mean far. he keeps saying oh it's only a 45 minute drive but it's 45 minute drive <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah I mean, it's all right if you're lucky you'll do what i did where i moved you know 45 minutes away yeah. and then i moved back and now i'm down the road from my mum yeah <laughs> see the thing is i i moved out when i was 18 so i was a bit younger and i was like this sort of rubber ball that kept bouncing back every so often yeah so there is that chance mm, yeah <laughs> But yeah, I mean, it's, it is hard. We're all struggling. I mean, Josh had a few tears about it and because yeah. they're very close. Yeah. I think that was probably the hardest bit because yeah. like for you- He doesn't care about you. Because for, yeah. <laughs> for you and dad, you've got like each, each other, other and yeah. he's yeah. raised me. Yeah. But jo and you know that was coming. But yeah. for my younger brother, Josh, it's like mm. we've grown up really close yeah. as friends. Mm. And it's kind of more, it, yeah, if you think of it in a friendship kind of yeah. way. I've just kind of departed and now yeah. I don't see him as often. Yeah. And it's, I think, but every, yeah. even Everyone when you visit, it. it's always, you've always got that feeling, well, it, he's going to have to leave again. Mm. And it's quite hard. So, mm. yeah. I mean, I do, I definitely miss him a lot. I don't miss his washing. I don't miss his It doesn't mess. get done. I know, like, I know. No, I actually have loads of washing you know, I'm bringing back with me. <laughs> what? So, what? I, so much, yeah. Oh I turned God. up I'll today, it, I turned up today oh. to the office and in the car park was a, a clothing hanger covered in boxes. Yeah, it, was it Max's, wasn't mine, it was, it was Max's, Max's right? Oh. Yeah. Just wet boxes were just hanging out in the sun. Oh no, <laughs> yeah. no, I don't miss, I don't miss that. But, um, and I've got way less washing. I think Keelan used to like wear something for five minutes and then yeah. Yeah, yeah. because I'm training. <laughs> I'm getting sweaty. You weren't training all the time. <laughs> but yeah, so I, I don't miss that. But yeah, I mean, I just miss, yeah. The presence. Yeah, mm. definitely. My mum said something to me this morning about Daisy. She said they're only lent to you. Oh, no. She was like, you get them for 18 years if you're lucky. Oh. And then they're... And it is, it's fucked. Like, yeah. I mean, it's eight months so far and it's just, it's flown by. Yeah, so. yeah. It will. It yeah, will. that's why I like. I literally I went to the library, just spoke to some random lady who works in the library, and she was like, "Everyone seems to say it when you're when they're cooing over your baby, they're like, oh, she's lovely, oh, she's so happy. They're gonna grow up. Like they quickly yeah. remind you, yeah. they're like, you only get this for a little bit of time, and you're yeah. like, don't say, <laughs> let me enjoy the moment. I know it so, does, it does go yeah. really quick. She mm -hmm. bit me last night. <laughs> She fucking bit me. I was rocking her to sleep and she keeps taking her dummy. She's got into this habit right now. She, she takes a dummy out. She's got two teeth, yeah. two bottom teeth. She takes a dummy out and she waves it around and then she'll drop it on the floor. So I took it away and I was like rocking her to sleep and she was just drifting off. She turned her fucking head and she bit. Yeah, that, I don't know if you can see. That can tiny, see that tiny, see. that is a baby bite. <laughs> yeah. Vampire baby. Yeah, that's great. Anyway, oh. what's this, like two hours? <laughs> Uh, 56 pretty much yeah mm -hmm. yeah i feel like this has been great no this is i been want really good. considerably more alcohol yeah i could quite happily Same. just keep going mm -hmm. they've um, affected me more than usual these seltzers i'm loving it yeah but i think we've i think we've I, I, if any parents have been forced to listen to this by their child i'm sorry that we've you know deviated onto weird <laughs> subjects occasionally mm -hmm. but I've enjoyed it. Have yeah, you, have I've you, really mm -hmm. enjoyed it. Have the yeah. nerves settled? Yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah. Well, you said, do you remember when you and dad were like saying that you'd want to start a radio? Yeah, I think the thing I was more nervous about with this was actually being filmed because really, yeah. I'd be quite comfortable not having my face in it. Mm -hmm. It's all right. Only like, I don't know, it, it varies, but a thousand, two thousand people watch it. What? <laughs> so it's fine. You'll be fine. But I, yeah, no, I, I quite like you know me i like to talk but yeah i don't it's the whole video thing because i'll watch it back and cringe at myself no. don't watch it it's don't two watch it don't, back. it's two There's hours no out of your life don't no watch point. it back. you were here existing yeah, yeah. But, so it's um, fine. yeah as far as 
I'd love to be like a radio DJ. I'd love to be. I know like, you would. Yeah, I'd love, love that. that. Love you, that. You love your music and things. Yeah, like that. I'd love to do it, but I think I'm a bit too old to get into that game now. Mm-hmm. Look, you're I've not washing. Making... Cl- you're not washing clothes for him at the moment, so your energy bills have probably dropped. So yeah. take that yeah. money, invest it, couple of mics. <laughs> you should. And you, to be fair, you've impressed me with like starting your own company and doing yeah. all and you that. and Nolly can spin up some beats yeah and, we, we can mm. do Kemsing Radio yeah if you, do we, some pirate we used fucking to do, radio that's what, that's what yeah. I want to do no we used to do Music Minute so like when in the on the podcast yeah let's go yeah so you, you get a minute to just kind of promote what you're listening to at the moment to Ooh. whatever but well i mean we'll, we'll start have you got a timer i'm i'm loading it up so right. we used to do it we haven't done it in ages but okay. i suppose it's the hundreth episode and we yeah did, we did used to do people it. used to lo- some well some people used to love it some also used this used to be it. this used to be the point that the episode like a- algorithm would go people would go no nope. <laughs> claire ryan you get one minute six seconds to talk about an artist a band mm. something that you are passionately listening to at the moment and you have to you what the idea of this is you have to sell the listener on what you're listening to Ooh. like by the end of this i should be like i want to listen to that mm. and we're big music people okay yeah. does it have to be what i'm listening to right this minute not necessarily oh. but like uh, okay you need to convince me to listen to whatever you're about to talk about and you've got 60 seconds uh, well, I'm not going to say Shikari. Because well, hold up. I'm going to press start. Okay. She's already right. seen the Shikari wristband. Yeah. yeah. I like the, the ones that look like blueberries. <laughs> 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 These are actually, um, you can put essential oils in them. They're... Um, in them? Well, you, you, they're, they're porous beads. Uh-huh. So you can put essential oils in, like aromatherapy oils and stuff, and they've got little Buddhas. You bought me one of these, Yeah, Keegan. didn't they? You yeah. put essential oils in them. Put some yeah. freaking CBD oil in them. Yeah. I've got some of that. Oh. You have. Oh, Holland, right. Holland, Holland and Barrett a special. Yeah. Anyway, 60 right. seconds. Three, two, one, go. Okay. Well, I'm going to say Foo Fighters because I'm a mm? massive, massive fan. Um, lots of reasons. Basically, going back to the beginning obviously dave grohl was in nirvana that's a bit of a no-brainer obviously great roots not hair roots although they're not bad either um (laughs) yeah they're pretty good but anyhow yeah so i'd say foo fighters um probably favoring the early stuff rather than the later albums um just because it was more thrashy um although saying that i was listening to an album on the way here which has a song called white limo which is basically just going (laughs) And I love that. Um, maybe not like that. Is that I, sheep? Yeah, I know. It's, it's, <laughs> it is Easter, which reminds me of that Easter thing. You got 12 seconds. Oh, 12 okay. seconds. Okay. Okay. Sell it. Ten. Yeah, so anyway, and, and yeah, I, lo- I love their music and they are really rocky kind of, eh, um, I don't know what to say now. I've run out of words. And you're done. <laughs> you're done. So much harder than you think, right? Yeah, Six yeah. seconds. You didn't mention but, that you could have just gone pure guilt trip and said... Taylor Hawkins. Yeah, you yeah, could have gone, Foo Fighters, drum has just died. Go show some respect. I know. Yeah. I know. You were sad. Did you remember that? I was really sad. I've seen them quite a few times. The other day when um, we were driving where? To Folkestone. Yeah. We and we, we listened to all of their... Out, well, yeah. like a whole mix of them because of the drummer. Because it was Mother's recently. Day and I, it was my choice. Yeah. <laughs> but but you showed me yeah. some of the old Foo Fighters stuff, yeah. which actually... I didn't know Dave could... Um, Dave Scree. Robbie, you know, he actually yeah. can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, it, it was actually pretty crazy. It doesn't sound like a sheep. Sorry, Dave Grohl. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. um, there you go. Yeah. No. It's your all-time favourite, maybe. It's, yeah, I was going to say, I feel like you've been a big old... Yeah, I, I love the foods, Foo Fighters, but... Pulp. Yeah, the Cure, massive yeah. Cure fan, but that goes back a long, long way. Cure. Yeah, um, mostly I had a really bad time when Keelan got into hip hop because I really don't like hip hop. Yeah, so uh, I mean, people normally turn off when we start talking about music, but yeah. fuck. Yeah, I guess if you're if you're gone, fuck you. Yeah, that's fine. Um, Later, we've got we've got what you want. What yeah. we you've want you've. You. So when I started talking to Keelan about music, mm. and then we kind of bonded over like I guess rock heavy yeah. music. Mm. It, it, there was always this thing of like, oh, my parents are into like yeah. this genre. Whereas mm. my parents never, I mean, I don't know. I remember my mum listening to like meatloaf and things. Mm. But do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Not, not, I feel like you and Nolly have always been, you, you go to gigs. Yeah, I love this. music. Absolutely love yeah. music. Which is so fucking. Yeah. Yeah. We, um, I'm going to, I'm, I'm always, I was playing that new While She Sleeps song to Daisy this morning. I sent you a video. Of yeah. It. And she was rocking out. <laughs> 
She's got this little look like, <laughs> you know, while she sleeps. Thing. Yeah, I've, yeah, got, I've got it on my playlist. Yeah, yeah. 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 You like nervous yeah, while she sleeps. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. so like, I'm, I'm so keen to be that music parent. Yeah, I mean... It, oh, it helps so it much. It does yeah. help, Honestly although helps. for ages, Keelan loved our music, and then he started dancing, and every competition, they play the same old hip-hop songs. Yeah. I can't listen to them <laughs> so now, though. It's so horrible. they get stuck in your head, and it was really hard because then you want to listen to them in the car and it was like, mm. so yeah, we went through that phase, but thankfully, yeah, we came out of it. But mm. um, <laughs> yeah, but I mean. Dad was into some of the like the old school hip hop yeah. stuff like Black Star and stuff. Yeah, and, and, uh, I mean some, I'm not like saying that. all hip hop's bad, but and yeah. it isn't. I mean, it's, it's everyone's taste is mm. different, but for us, it was, all, for me personally, it's always indie rock. Mm. Um, there are very few sort of things in the hip hop sort yeah. of thing. Can you I'm, hit the top five button, please? Top five. It's I either green or blue. Green or blue? No. Top five. Top five. Top you five. knew what it was. Jeez. All right. Top five bands. Go. Oh. Go oh, right now. Right now. Quickly. Right now. Well, you know, uh, Foo's on there. Yeah, Foo's obviously. Um, probably the Cure. Mm. Oh, so God. Foo Fighters, The Cure, Arctic Monkeys, love Arctic oh, Monkeys. Yeah, so you're definitely indie rock. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think what's in my placebo. Placebo, you yeah. love placebo. Yeah. yeah. Uh, mm. I'm trying to think what's in my car at the moment. Uh, so I, I'm old school CDs. Um, yeah, that's true. Yeah. CDs to Spotify, that must be a bit weird. And I like Florence and the Machine, which isn't hard rock, but and to be honest, nah, you're a bangs. massive you're a massive Florence fan. Yeah, yeah. Love Florence, Florence, Florence Florence Bangs. Yeah, mm. she's she's That is already Florence, very, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. good. Yeah. I rate that. I mean I don't listen to half that, but I rate it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 You listen to quite a lot of different things. Yeah. You're um, quite good with whether I show you a new thing. You're like, mm, yeah. I quite like that. Yeah. But but I've got think... I've got no complaints about my mum, mm. but I'd be happy for you to be my mum. Really? So just don't play her reggae. Old enough. Don't play her reggae. <laughs> oh no, I, I don't, don't hate to it. No, no, no it's I just that's the thing. I, no, but whenever Dad puts it on, you're I like, no. <sighs> but the thing is, with, there's nothing hated, wrong with you? reggae. The trouble is, my ex-boyfriend used to play it all the time, and I've got really bad memories, so I can't hear it. Uh, can imagine. It's an association with well, reggae. Wayne. Yeah. Wayne. I got no issue with reggae, but the thing I fucking hate is anyone who smokes too much weed. <laughs> who plays music that is so obviously just about weed. Yeah. yeah <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. They pause. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't have to be reggae, mm. but like obviously some reggae is like a sort of fairly, yeah. m you know, marijuana heavy. Yeah. Uh, and they put it on for the sake of the fact that that is the topic. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, man. I'm like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> like, it is, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like going, oh, I don't want to go into it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the cool. Yeah. Oh, are there no mm. more buttons you can press? Because we I got them. Like know what they do. I like them. We can push all the buttons. <laughs> Go on, spit some, spit some fire. Say you know, something. You, yeah, you know when Sam came on, he did yeah. a whole rap. He did oh, a freestyle I can't, rap. I can't rap. Say something moderately offensive about a parkour team. Oh no, I can't. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> do it. Go on. What don't you like about Stora? No, it doesn't have to be Stora. Um, she doesn't know any other parkour I teams. Do. Storm. Yeah. Go on. Yeah. yeah, chat shit about Storm. Storm. They're dead. Say Storm are dead. Storm, you're not dead really, are you? Are they dead? Just say Storm are dead. Storm are dead. <laughs> oh, shit. I World exclusive on the Fighters podcast. That was, that was That's harsh. really mean. That was actually really harsh. <laughs> Sorry, mm -hmm. Storm. We mm -hmm. love you, really. They're not dead, but they've kind of... Like they, I died, all, they died out is probably did they did bit. they really though yeah they just all started doing they've their kind of all done things. their own thing oh. mm -hmm. so I don't mean yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. So sorry if you wanted to sorry. know top five top you know what that one that's was. that one oh Little this Motors is a long mobile one phone. Motors mobile phone oh. send us a message <laughs> plus four four seven eight five six four five, zero zero five, zero six. one six one five six Motors mobile phone oh I feel sorry for Bloggy you can't hear it <laughs> So oh, that, that is like, I think he's a Dutch kid who, that was before his voice broke. Yeah. And he used to send in voice, he, he used to send us messages and be like, hello, Motus. Oh. And then his voice broke and he was like, you're right, Motus. Um, you probably remember me as this guy. And he'd be like, hello. Oh. So, yeah, so he's still there. Bullshit. I wonder if you know what band this is. We sent him clothes yeah. and he just never posted anything. I'm is really he not? Sad. I'm really sad. 
Yeah. It's one of the bands I really like. It's not While She Sleeps. The though. lead singer follows Morris and Keelan and we sent him clothes oh. and he, he, he really likes Morris. Bring Me the Horizon. No. no. That would be pretty crazy. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I was going to say. Oh, big, oh um, Architects. No. no. Uh, she knows bands though. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you would know. It does begin with an S. I don't oh, even know. You just said it does begin with an S, but neither architects will bring me the horizon. Begin with it. No, I said it does. <laughs> it begins with an S. I, I, feel I, like, I, I feel like I know if you tell me. <laughs> obviously. <laughs> oh, really? that's so obvious. You mm -mm. know what I mean? No. Do you know Stray from the Past? Oh, no. God, yes, I do. Oh, yeah. Blast. Oh, of course you do. Yeah, yeah. What's the blue one? Mm -hmm. Loser! Loser! Oh. <laughs> Thank you. You're a loser! That's you Keith, are, that's you your yeah. son. That was me. Was that you? Yeah. Do it again. Loser! Loser! You didn't loser! That's, that's from a video. That's me we from cut a video. That out of video. That's the thing. You, you haven't seen a lot of the like. I don't think you've seen all the spitting in the wind, or or yeah. And we I'm, always talk and about I'm this. Glad. What did you do? Nothing. Oh, I'm, just, nothing. I'm just. I'm just. Uh, I'm just a I mean, lunatic. Oh, that's yeah, just the awkward. Does the yeah. But yeah. Why isn't the grey a sign to anything? I think it is a sign, isn't it? <laughs> sign that people should stop. Yeah, we should probably wrap this up. Yeah. You know, oh. two hours is probably. It's seven o'clock. What? Oh, I'm such a bad parent. Oh, I thought you were going to... It was a hand cuddle. No. It was a hand cuddle. That's oh, a hand cuddle. The hands are cuddling. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I thought you were shaking my hand like, thank you. Thank yeah, thank you, you very much for, for being on. Mother. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Well, this has been nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now you have to... The awkward thing is you get the car journey home to like reminisce about... You're yeah, like, oh, we, should we I have said that? Oh, no. We'll both be like, oh, God, I wish I had Oh, no. No, I'm taking... Nothing like so that. So does it normally go on for quite a while? Or two what, hours? The, the two hours is like, it's two hours is longer than average. <laughs> yeah, usually goes on for about a bit over an hour. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, but this is a special hours. one. This is this it 100 is, it, episode. It's ep yeah, episode 100. I so. say it. Like, <laughs> when the third? I'm third drive. Wait, I'm, I'm going to drive home as well? No, I literally, I haven't even finished it. Yeah. I'll finish it for you. Yeah. <laughs> When we started this podcast, if you told me a hundredth episode we'd be interviewing your mum, I would have mm. thought, <laughs> yeah, <sighs> like by that. I mean, some episodes they, you know, five episodes in, they're interviewing Hollywood celebrities. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, but you've raised the bar here. We have. Mm -hmm. Well, we. I think we. I think Sorry. we raised the bar, and then we've t we've we've taken it back down. No, you've raised the bar and you've thrown it away. Yeah, no we've, bar we're, we're, no bar. we're flipping, the, we're flipping the game on its head. You manifested for a while that you wanted to be on the podcast and you did. I is did. it is it manifesting or pestering? Like the <laughs> DM, <laughs> the, the, the messages I didn't read out are the ones going, Giles, can I come on the podcast? Like that was most of them. you know what though? <laughs> I still maintain that you need to do motors for mummies. I mean, now that Sarah is a mother. Yeah, because. Yeah, maybe. I wear so many of Motus' clothes. Mm. But what's the difference? Yeah, You're not, an athlete. Yeah, but look. Well, yeah, that's true. That's actually, not Motus yeah. for mummies, and that's, you love that. Yeah, no, I have adapted it. Yeah. Yeah. Surely mummies just need to switch it up and stop wearing Baby Bjorn and. Mm. Yeah. 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 Fuck it. Mm. Yeah, they need education. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Educate yourself. <laughs> Any last words? Jesus <sighs> Christ, are you going to kill her? Yeah. <laughs> Any <Yeah>. last words? <laughs> No, just thank you. Mm. Thank you for having me on. You do um, realise if you message me in a week and you're like, Giles, I'm really embarrassed. I said something I shouldn't have said. I'm not going to delete no, it. I Nothing know. is getting Nothing's edited. Getting, Nothing. Even the spitting bit. Yeah, That's fine. Yeah. So I soften have up. you met your son? He is famous for spitting. Mm. And I don't think... Do you know why it's... spit on people. Do you know why it's called spitting in the wind? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, Keelan. It's all right. He's a changed man. You changed know I'm man. wacky. Yeah. I'm silly. <laughs> there are there are comments from Americans that are literally like when we release that series, some of the comments are like, I honestly think traveling with these boys would drive me insane. Like why why yeah. have you done this? It's uh, amazing. Yeah. I mean you've had to put up with it. Yeah. So. I mean I don't know how you did it, to be honest. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> honestly, yeah, so good. Huh. In an awful way. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm. Oh, this has been really fun, though. It has. I'm glad yeah. you came on. Yeah, me too. And if you thought we were getting an extra special episode, we did. Yeah, yeah you've got e it. Episode guest, we did. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. Do you want to promote your business? <laughs> your you are. Business. You're a bit, you are. You're a business owner now. I am. Yeah. I, yeah. My business is actually a year old now, so that's yeah, exactly. It's it's had its huge. first top, top right. Top right. So you you, you quit your job. Top right button. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You did. You, you 
quit your job and you started your own business, which I I'm so happy you did. I didn't quit my job. I got made okay, redundant. Okay, you got made redundant. <laughs> but but <laughs> just say it's to quit. But then you're like, this is an opportunity. I'm going to yeah, create yeah. my own business. Yeah. You know. I'm slightly out there doing stuff that some people don't believe in. But yeah, it's working it's great. for me. great. Magic. Yeah. 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 So you're exactly. a wizard. She's I'm a, a magician. juggler. Um, no, I, I've got my own holistic therapy business. So mm. I do Reiki, Indian head massage, Thai foot massage, um, that kind of thing. And um, yeah, a lot of it's based on energy healing and yeah, a bit of massage. But yeah. And that's been going for a year. It's doing all right. Yeah. What yeah. are the doing worst? Really well. What are the worst feet you've massaged? <laughs> Do you know what? No, I haven't had any bad feet, and I actually love feet. <laughs> Just well, take that as well. a oh, oh, I pulled my headphones out. <laughs> I, have you seen these blisters? Look. <laughs> Ooh, take that as a soundbite. My rotting Instagram. My rotting thing, uh, toenails. Take that as a soundbite on Instagram. <laughs> no, but actually, I love feet. Oh, my headphones pulled up. I do. I You'll do. get DM'd like people being like foot photos. Yeah. No, I do. Yeah. Like, I love feet. And, and look on, at that. On a, look at that blister. If your feet had been wiped, I would touch them because I'm happy to. <laughs> no, because. But you would touch that? Yeah. No, because basically, <laughs> when I do a foot massage, I will clean them with wipes first because you have to. Yeah. Because obviously you don't know where they've been. Um, no offense, Jules, but. Again, uh, you know where these have been? Yeah. I cleaned the toilet oh. earlier. As in, I mopped the floor barefoot. But, like, you know. Yeah. Oh. But no, um, I, you get so much energy from feet. Mm. And when I'm doing. Well, you it, personally or I do? <laughs> well, you might. I don't know if you tried. But basically when i do reiki do you know what reiki is yeah, yeah yeah okay so you're holding your hands over various areas of, of the body um which are like energy centers or chakras whatever you want to call them and you finish off with the feet and by the time i get to the feet i when i put my hands on someone's feet i get like this rush of energy you get the rush of yeah energy. and and it's just quite powerful mm. And I can't read, really, which is what drew me to foot massage because I thought, wow, you know, this is incredible. Um, so yeah, feet. I mean, if you think, especially if you're walking barefoot like you are, which is great for you, by the way. I'm only doing this because I've got blisters. Yeah, but but I do like barefoot. But obviously, but... you know about grounding and everything. Yeah, yeah. So basically, yeah, just I don't know what it is, but just the energy from people's feet. It's just no, no, it's good. And I do I have to kind of ground myself when I touch people's feet because it's almost like. Mm. It just hits me. I just no, have disgusting good. feet. I'm just looking at them and I'm like, are you really? No, I don't well, know. Well, that's are. what beautiful feet look like. It's all subjective. I think I have cool feet, but like in a really... Cool. <laughs> so like like a many, backwards. many people have described my feet as like hobbit feet. They're, hobbit. Hair, they're hairy and they're wide and they're like... Oh, little hobbit What a podcast yeah. episode. I know. <laughs> we thought this was going to end. Yeah. yeah. Now we're talking about mm. feet. But no, yeah. but I, I don't I don't have an issue. In fact, your feet look fine. I mean, Oh, I've got shoes on. Yeah. Yours, Mine are yeah. normal. Mine are you hear that, average. ladies? Pretty average. But, you know, I just think it's, mm -hmm. it's no, just... No, I think so. It just mm. doesn't bother me. But I, as, as I say that, I've not had any really nasty feet. And you're not supposed to do a treatment if someone's got any kind of disease thing going on obviously <laughs> obviously yeah. but yeah i mean sometimes i guess you might unwrap and then see what you've got <laughs> well like, unwrap okay, the, yeah. the bloody yeah. stump of a foot gangrene yeah <laughs> but yeah no so yeah that's yeah, part of my business is mm -hmm. thai foot massage which mm. is basically like reflexology ac acupressure points like acupuncture it works yeah. in the same way you've got lines that run through your body called meridian lines and acupressure, you've got various points on your face, which are meridian lines, and you work with those. And it's all to do with energy clearing. Um, mm. Yeah, and it's I really enjoy it. The, the great thing about that as well is it's it's actually a really relaxing job to do, mm. generally, mm. Um, compared to a lot of other jobs. Um, and with Reiki, you go into quite a meditative state, so it's, it's lovely, you know. Yeah. But then I do that, and obviously I've got a part-time job, working at Holland and Barrett as well. So that's just because my business is so new. I mean, you know what it's like with a new business, you kind of, I wasn't really bringing in enough no, money to support not. myself. It doesn't happen like that. I can't no. just make a new business and then that's your but job. What are you talking up. about? I'm fucking missing. 
<laughs> Absolutely minted. But yeah, so that's, yeah, if you want to go and check my business out, my website is Clarity and Calm Holistic Therapies. Dot co dot uk. <laughs> Sorry. See, I'm scared about shouting that out in case, like, you just get pestered for feet stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. You know how to do it. Maybe that. scrub that out then. No. Scrub it out. Nothing. Because nah. it's effort. It's yeah. not because we edit for, like, people's sake. <laughs> it's just yeah. effort. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's literally mm-hmm. just effort to go through. Like, yeah. it's hard enough to go through and pull the Instagram cuts. Yeah. If I could just upload this whole thing as a reel, I would. <laughs> I, don't, so. I still don't understand reels. They do really well. I don't understand really them. Really well, do they? Yeah. Really well. Really well. Like a, an Instagram video of Keelan, couple thousand views. Yeah. An Instagram reel of Keelan, 50,000 views. What? Really? He's got, oh, no. yeah, he's fucking popping off on Instagram. Are you? Yeah. I don't know. Am I? Do don't have know, it at the moment. Do you know what? I, hey. do, I do, when I look at Instagram. Jesus Christ. <laughs> When I look at Instagram, it's because when I haven't seen you for a while, so I just want to have a look at your face. Aww. It's not to check what you're doing. 76,000 views of what? your son. What video? Doing what the video? Grand Prix. Really? Yeah. No 76,000 views. Wow. I'm actually That's well like Wembley that. Stadium. Didn't know that. I didn't know that was that many. 20,000, 15, awesome. 27, 25. Uh, where's the other one? Keelan. There's another one that did really well. 65,000. Don't know what that means. No, I mean, it's all bullshit. More sales? It's all, well, hopefully. It's more sales, hopefully. Yeah. Oh my God, Ellis is doing triple full. No, no, triple swing gainer. Well, good lad, outside. Well done, Ellis. Ellis is Um, very good. Yeah, he's a good lad. He's not bad. He does the job. All right, should we wrap this up? Because I feel yeah. like Bloggy's probably yeah. falling asleep and he's just literally just like... He's glazed over. He's got all he has, the poor lad. He has three <laughs> buttons to press. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you want to get loads of Instagram followers? Camera one, <laughs> camera two, and camera three. Yeah. Yeah. Poor lad. Um, yeah, what's your Instagram? Do you want, do you want Instagram uh, shout out? What is it? <laughs> <laughs> Wicked. Uh, you know I it, think don't it's you? Gothic Pumpkin Queen, isn't it? Yeah, something like Gothic. gothic. Imagine your mum, right? <laughs> <laughs> Anyone listening to this, imagine your mum's Instagram is Gothic Pumpkin Queen. Well, oh, Morris isn't it. following you. I'm following you back. Do you know Korea. what, though? I wanted Pumpkin Queen on its own, yeah, but it's someone it? else has got it. Yeah. So... But Go on, let's get your Instagram popping for yeah. some reason. It'll be so you funny. You got 484 followers. I reckon we could smash 500. <laughs> yeah. Do it. Your last so post dope. is Did you dye your cat's tail? No! <laughs> that was Bella's, <laughs> Bella's tail. What did you do to your cat? We've got a rainbow. Uh, oh, it's light. Okay. Yeah. Thing. I was going to say, yeah. you're going to get some, some uh-uh. yeah. abusive strict, strict messages vegan. there. Yeah. yeah. Strict vegan. No animal cruelty here. Yeah. <laughs> Hold up. I've just realised this could be a gold mine for childhood photos yeah of Keelan. There, there is my first instagram post is of keelan i'm doing scrolling me, i'm doing rapidly the, scrolling yeah, down go right down to the first one it's it's keelan doing some gardening and you were only helping me because you wanted to free a branch so you could swing oh, on that it. branch snapped yeah. off when i lashed it off you it. said i'll help you mum i'll help you clear it and you were doing <laughs> it for your own gain oh no you, you've posted was, quite a lot how do i get down there no nah, you won't be able to find it but yeah, there, there, it's there, right there was a wall right no, the there beginning. was a wall and then a branch so just perfect lashing. oh what i would really like for christmas and new year's for keelan's ankles to be better oh yeah Mm. What a lovely we never mom touched you are. Aww. One day. Yeah, you're great. Yeah, I'm not I didn't see half of these. Yeah. I probably should. You don't bother, do you? He's blocked your mom, isn't <laughs> you? I blocked you. <laughs> no. All right. Aww. I feel like scrolling is going to take too long. Mm. Let's wrap this up because we're just losing people probably, unfortunately, because everyone should listen to this. Unless if someone's listened for two and a half hours nearly. People have. Here's a photo of a bruise. Butlins bruises? Oh, yeah. We're going to talk Don't about talk that. about Butlins. <laughs> oh, no. Getting rowdy at Butlins. Yeah. You got not, a pur- why have you got a purple banana? Oh, that was... Um, oh, that was for night. Yeah. All right. I was going to make a slightly impromptu joke, but... Uh, all right. Fuck it. Love you yeah. lots. Thank you so much, Claire. I've Thank really enjoyed you. this. Yeah. Thank you so much. Cheers for committing oh. to this. Yeah. Well done, you two, for keeping it together. Mm. I think I've earned my hard seltzer. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Hard seltzer. 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 Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, episode 101. I guess we'll see who comes next. I've yeah. got no idea. 100 episodes. Woo! Woo! 100! 100! Yeah! That's incredible. Love yeah. you, bye. Pretty much love you, bye. Yeah. Oh. Bang. Love you all. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> See you for another, hopefully, more than 100. Fuck.
fucking yeah until we've got full on AI clones <laughs> goodbye bye bye subscribe buy clothes whatever all that shit sweaty ears yeah oh yeah